Hello! Happy Friday! Hi. Happy Black Friday! Um, yeah, happy day after Thanksgiving yeah, to hope you had a great, folks watching from America. Yeah, hope you had a great Thanksgiving. If you're in East Coast US, you're probably eating your breakfast right now. Um, if you're in West Coast, you should be asleep. Yes, you should. You should but be getting if you're, a solid eight hours. If you're up early for Black Friday deals, then uh, then that's the plan here. Um, we'll have Unless you went to bed at 8pm. Maybe you did. That's well, yeah, that's true. Some people sometimes are, it's nice to go to bed at eight. Some yeah. people are up early. Some people are up early. Yeah. Uh, and if you're in the UK, it's lunchtime probably, and you're probably not doing your work, or at least hopefully not doing your work. Um, so we thought we'd try this as a little um, a little new thing. Um, we've got a, a Black Friday deal links thing, which is right there. Um, Mike loves Black Friday I shopping. I do. I've never really, I've never really done it. Yeah. So Mike is going to instruct me in the ways of <laughs> getting bargains um, on Black Friday. But yes, there's a, there's a link here which is uh, hosted by good friends at Eurogamer, and it's a sort of updating live blog. So if you're watching the stream and you want to check out some Black Friday deals, um, then feel free to head over to there. Uh, we uh, may receive a small commission on those things if you're buying stuff anyway on Black Friday and would like to help us out. Um, please do go through via those links. Um, we've, we've found some good deals. We've been mainly looking, at least to start with, at sort of console deals. So we'll look at those uh, in both... Video game stuff. UK. Yeah, but video game stuff in general, maybe some other bits and bobs. If you have recommendations and you'd like to share them with other people, then please do um, you know leave them in the chat. If you've, if you've already found a good bargain this morning uh, and you would like to share the love, then please do share those. Um, in terms of Black Friday, Andy, have you bought anything Black Friday yet already? I haven't. No, I was hoping to get some suggestions from this stream, to be honest. Yeah. Um, in the chat, M9 says, are you literally just streaming shopping? Yes. Mike, is that what we're that doing? That is it literally is what we're just what we're streaming. Um, yeah, we're just going to browse around, look at some um, console deals. Um, and I thought we'd start with uh, Nintendo Switch stuff, which on Very, they've got some pretty good deals for the Nintendo Switch. There's not a lot going on in terms of the OLED stuff, but in, if you are happy to, to sort of settle for a, uh, a classic Switch... <laughs> Settle. <laughs> well, it is. It is. I mean, the OLED switch is nice, right? And, and there's no doubting that. Um, mm. But there aren't it, certainly in the UK. There aren't a lot of uh, switch deals that we found. But these ones on Actually, two, yeah, two fifty nine is pretty. Yeah, two fifty nine for a, a switch with Mario Bros. Wonder, which is a a brand new game, obviously, and is really really good. I've been playing it. Um, it's really fun. So this is a good deal. And then if you want the the, the classic Mario and, and Sonic superstars, like the console, you're not Wars, allowed both. That's the point. <laughs> you've got to pick. You have you've to pick. pick sides. You've got to pick sides. Yeah. Um, I think that's not uh that's not a bad deal to be honest. Um, you're saving sort of fifty quid on that bundle apparently um but yeah uh yeah if you haven't bought a switch at this point what are you doing obviously um but this is yeah. this is a great deal i think 260 quid for for that with mario brothers brothers wonder in particular is really really good um so yeah i these i mean this is a bestseller already uh, it's trending now apparently according to very um although here's an interesting thing before we go through to the the sonic superstars thing so how much if you're getting it with mario bros wonder and it's 259 yeah. this is uh -huh. this is 40 quid more right my maths isn't wrong here so they're charging 40 but, pounds for sonic superstars but you but can buy it so okay well that's interesting um okay well here's the savings here's, for you right here the savings for you, don't right? buy the bundle yeah, don't with buy the mario bundle. and sonic um do the one with uh mario bros wonder and just and simply add sonic superstars to your uh to your basket yeah. and you'll get it for uh, the low, low price of two nine four uh, ninety nine. Yeah, instead of two nine nine. Well, there you go. Um, so yeah, the the link uh, pinned in the chat is the um, all the deals and recommendations from the stream are going to be there. So if you go yep. there and click on the links, uh, Jane is in the in the can, engine yeah. room basically fixing all. You may stuff. be wondering where Jane is. Yeah. Just like generally, She's, you know that um, bit in the Titanic where they're all like pulling levers and you know sweating and the furnaces and stuff. That's where Jane is. Yeah. But but for this. 
um, essentially. Um, yeah. She is on this Zoom call, but like hidden. Yeah, yeah, she's so just listening she's, in. She's waving. She says hi. <laughs> she says hi. Um, should we have a look at if there's anything else? Oh, please, please don't buy Nickelodeon well, Kart Racers 3. It's it, Those games are so bad. The last two, and this I haven't played 3 yet, so uh, excuse me if I'm being extremely rude about this game without having played it. But I the last you know. two, they have all the characters, but they don't have any of the character voices. So can right. you imagine, like, SpongeBob is there, but he is entirely silent. Or Garfield there but he doesn't say anything or the ninja famously Turtles. introspective spongebob square <laughs> yeah, exactly. he's just thinking about you know um the abyss so while that looks like a a pretty good price um 279 uh, you're so much you do get a you, yeah. you'd be better off getting uh getting the deal you know just on, on its own because you'll, you'll be what we should tell people about before we crack on is that we have a sale on outside xbox yes in fact let's and dogs venture merch let's go and have a look at that right now navigate actually. over there That, you said that's my, right. There we yeah, go. that's my first. Uh, that's my first bad. Sorry, I've got two keyboards on the go, and I've I've already gotten confused. Um, uh, sort of outside Xbox.com. That's Xbox X Nox. No, Mike. <laughs> oh God. Right. Excuse my typos. Attackers may be stealing your data. There we go. Right. Look. Look at this. Now these pins are really really cool. Um, oh, figurines are back. Signed figurines are back. Apparently. Signed figurines are back. Uh, the uh, the Corazon figure is on the next page. You have to scroll across. Okay. So don't. Keep, keep going. Keep right. going. View collection. Where's Cor Where's Corazon? Well, where's if I Corazon? view the collection. Oh, he's on a separate page. Brilliant. Well, there you go. There you go. Brilliant. Um, anyway, you really have to work for Corazon. <laughs> you really do. Love, love that. Um, can we have a look at these pins? Because I really like the pins. And we've got a new shirt. Oh, yeah. oh, so these pins are new. Mm, brand new. Vibrant. Looking really, really good. We've got Dog. We've got Prudence. We've got Egbert. We've got Snake Pliskin from Escape from New York. And we've got Meryl. <laughs> there he is. There's Snake. Um, yeah. Yes. Uh, can I just say, new tech thing, right? Which we should have been on this store for a long time, but is now now here. Is that you can um, you can now zoom in on the images and have a really good look at all these, like Dobbs. Get first. right into Dobbs' yeah. nose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So a uh, bunch of Oxfench merch. Bunch of Oxfench. We have a new T-shirt. Yeah, we have a new. I'm um, wearing it. Okay, look, show it off. Yes. Yeah. What do you, is the is the name of it? Is it available on here? It, it says what do. You? It'll be it here somewhere. Oh, here we go. There's Ellen modelling it. Um, very nicely. There you go. Uh, it looks really cool. It's a sort of, I don't know, like medieval style design uh, with skeletony fingers and things like that. So that's cool. Um, yeah, do let us know if you pick any of this stuff up. Um, we had, sorry, we had some technical Some stuff issues. is up to 50% off. It's your last chance to get some of these things, like the uh, the scarf. Yeah, there these these two and the hat. I mean, these are a steal. this this was a where this was a warehouse find. Yes. It was like at the end of Indiana Jones. Yeah. Someone found a crate. With the last remaining ones of look these in, the, so these literally are. Look at the quality the last on that stitching. These. Once they're gone, they are gone. Look, look. So, oh, I can grab it with my little cursor. There you go. Yeah. Anyway. Right. Um, so yeah, if the what do shirt, uh, character pins, and of course the signed figurines. We signed a bunch of figurines. Yes. Those are we are down to the last few as the signed ones, figurines yeah, yeah. as well. And once those are gone, they are gone. So if you uh, think you're getting one, or if you know someone who would like that for Christmas as a as a Christmas present, then maybe now is the time to get in on that. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, uh, that's much appreciated. The link for that is also in the in the Black Friday Live blog, obviously. Um, so yeah, um, head over there, uh, check it out. Store.outsidexbox.com for all your all your Xbox themed gifts. Um, right, let's have a look at the um, the Switch deals on Walmart and see what they've got going on. Uh, lots of this is for our US friends. Ooh, um, yeah, why not allow access? Why not? <laughs> I'm going to shout out Sane Bradley here, who has just donated bone marrow to a stranger via the Anthony Nolan Trust. That, I'll give them a shout out. You can join their register with a cheek swab and maybe save a life. That is incredible. Incredible generosity. Yeah. Well done. Um, in this in this season of, uh, you know, or approaching the season of goodwill and things. Um, yes. And Simply Dave MN says, can we get a Rat King shirt to proclaim that games are indeed back? Well... <laughs> Keep keep your eye on the store. We may be working on a Games of Back shirt right now. So, um, yeah, we are. Yeah, I mean, maybe, but we are. Um, oh, and Dr. Gerb says, check out Mad Cat Beard Care, a beard care company by wrestlers. A portion of the proceeds go towards helping animals. That's cool. That's amazing. Great. Yeah. Um, in terms of US deals for Nintendo Switch, uh, you've got this... Um, Pretty choice bundle, actually. $299 for... Again, it's an original Switch, but there is actually a deal in the US for OLED Switches as well, if that's what you're after. Um, but this deal comes with Mario Kart 8. Now, I have an opinion about Mario Kart 8. Um, we've been waiting for Mario Kart 9 okay. for a very long time, right? 
but without us realizing it it already exists and it is the mario kart 8 track pass thing which comes with uh, nintendo switch online so your three month individual membership that you get with this bundle um includes like the same number of tracks that were in the original mario kart 8 again right uh, and they're all really good they're, they're sort of like remastered versions of um you know the original n64 oh, yeah, games and, and things like that but they all look they look really really good and some of the some of the really good tracks are from the mobile game mario kart tour which is i've played it and it feels awful on well it doesn't feel awful but it doesn't feel anywhere near as good as a regular mario kart game um okay. on a on a mobile phone touchscreen because it does the acceleration point stuff but if you want to play those tracks on a proper controller and have proper sort of mario kart battles on them um you know this is the way to do it so um yeah i'm super super impressed by this bundle i think 299 dollars again if you if you don't already own a switch you know you're probably in the that would be such a choice thing to get for christmas because then you could just spend the next two days playing mario kart yeah. and not having to really like interact with anyone yeah i, I ideal. did you ever do that did you ever get a console for christmas yeah. when you were a kid andy and just like basically ignore everyone for the entirety of christmas? yeah best christmas is ever i did that as well i got a super nintendo back when i was a wee nipper and i remember playing donkey kong country so there you hey, go. Uh, what a game. Um, so not a lot in the way of Switch OLED deals in the UK, but if you're in the US, uh, there's this deal. Um, it's $50 more than the Mario Kart one, but again, it includes a really, really To be fair, game. the screen is like considerably it's, better. It's really good, actually. I was, I was kind of sceptical, um, and then Luke showed me he was playing um, Tears of the Kingdom on the OLED Switch, and the screen is... It's beautiful. Like OLED stuff is so yeah. so pretty. Well, Luke Luke's a man who appreciates the finer things in life. Yeah, well, he's a so, he's. A, I mean, more specifically, he's, he's a former tech journalist, so he's like yeah, true. he is obsessed with OLED screens. He appreciates um, an organic <laughs> yeah, LED. An LED. Uh, screen but anyway smash bros ultimate also a brilliant multiplayer game you know it's great that both these games in these bundles are multiplayer games because it means if you do get yeah. them for christmas and grandma wants to go you can ruin her uh, business on um on super smash bros ultimate so uh yeah we have a few people in the chat uh cat from the kong and who else here um Alex Wright, who are both asking if we can check into any PSVR 2 deals. Yes, we'll do that in a moment. Yeah, let's move mm. Let's move on to um, PlayStation, because I think we've covered off sort of the, the best Switch console deals, certainly. Yeah, At all links are in the link that's pinned in the chat. Thanks for all for joining us, by the way. This is one of those just chatting streams, I understand. Yes, popular I believe on Twitch. that's what they're called. Yeah, just chatting and just shopping a little bit as well. Should we have a look at yeah. uh, PSVR 2? Um, let's find given out. Given people have asked um, for it right now... Um, I'm going to shout out Chris in the chat who says, currently watching my lunch break at work. Just want to show my love for the channel. I've been watching since 2013 when I was in grade seven, lol. Yep. No, thanks for sticking around, Chris. Thank you. Um, I will say uh, this: these ones aren't being marked as, as sort of um, Black Friday deals. And often that is sort of useful in that you will see uh, a little flag on most stores um, saying Black Friday deals. A lot of the console stuff um, is kind of similar across the board. Um, but certainly, uh, it doesn't look like this is don discounted at all, uh, this PSVR stuff. The problem with PSVR is that they're sort of, it's a bit of a niche product, isn't it, really? And I'm not sure they, I think already $549 for Dollars. for the technology that is within the, within the PSVR 2 is like as cheap as they could make it. And so I don't think they're ready right. to, to discount that stuff. But that that's wild. I mean, like... 648 to get it with Call of the Mountain. That's a lot of money. Let's have a look at... Well, there are some There are some deals where it's sort of like... I think eBay has a code where you can get 20% off electronics. Yeah. Things like that. So Let's um, let's just have a quick look at, uh, at Best Buy and see if there's anything going on there in terms of PSVR 2. And then we'll move over to the UK. And... Well, presumably they have the best buy. Otherwise, they wouldn't be allowed to call themselves. That's that. true. Uh, no, I don't want uh, Best Buy to know my location because then it will find out that I'm uh, in the UK. <laughs> And, and pretending to be an American. But uh, look, have you seen my local store is Bangor, which is not the one in Wales. It's one... Bangor in Maine. Yeah, it is. Oh man, you might bump into <laughs> Stephen King. Is that where he lives? Yeah, for, well, that's where his, his creepy house is. Oh, right, okay. Well, you... I'm sure he's, I mean, he's, he's extremely wealthy. I'm sure he has many residences. Yeah, it's true. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's much doing, certainly in uh, the US for um, PSVR 2. Let's have a look at... Um... What's foveal tracking? foveal tracking so that foveal um so that is uh where it's tracking where your eyes are looking and it will add it will render more detail in the area where the center of your vision is because your peripheral it does vision that is, yeah yeah it's really it this is as a ps as a That's as weird. a vr headset it's really very good um let's have a look let's have a look at um 
got a question in the chat here from El Marco H O J J for everyone. Um, yeah. What's the best slash comfiest gaming chair on the market? Oh, if you've got an opinion, I so I use a noble chair, and I was going to show you a noble chair, Andy, um, uh, fairly soon. Oh, hello. So this is this seems like there's a slightly more favourable. That's, that's five hundred nine pounds. Yeah, five hundred nine pounds for PSVR in the UK. It's still pricey, isn't it? And I don't think yeah, that's only four percent yeah. off. I don't think that's specifically a, a Black Friday deal either, but um, but yeah, I mean, I think that's probably the cheapest you're likely to get it for. Um, if we have a look at noblechairs.co... It's wild that it's more than the console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, quite significantly more, isn't it? Um, I like cookies. Um, I don't want to say I like them. Andy, I wanted to... I mean, let's have a look at this thing. This product is on the Black Friday sale first because I think it would be so choice uh, for you specifically i don't think Ooh. it's gonna be in there because i think it's a new product but i'll show you but i just saw the spider-man chair that was pretty cool and oh that is 100, good. 100 off and not a not a white uh spider andy so you you um you know you you won't be angry at it every time oh man put it. that link in there i want i want all right i want to be able to buy a spider-man chair nice uh, but wait before you do this is not um not specifically a uh, a black friday deal but if i look at special editions there we go andy Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd like it. it. That's the chair that Wesker yeah. sells you to do things from in separate ways. Yeah, it is. It is yacht. Um, oh, final part of separate ways coming to the channel Monday, yes, folks. By the way, is. we have recorded it now. We were waiting for Jane to get back so we, she could see what happens at the end. How much we knew she'd want to. How much more expensive is this than the um, than the? Oh, it's quite a lot yeah. more expensive than the Spider-Man one. But I don't know. If, but if you, you know, umbrella. Umbrella. Oh, look at the, like the DNA helixes. Yeah, it's cool, isn't it? It's very it cool. cool. Anyway, yeah. So I've, I've got Noble's chair, Noble chairs uh, thing. But should we pop the Spider-Man one in? Because I think that is pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, let's go. And, and there's a Spider-Man game you can play on it. Exactly. Um, let's have another look at that, just quickly. Um, it's yeah. It's it, they're pretty comfy chairs. They look like racing car chairs, which appeals to me. Um, I don't think that's too bad for three hundred quid, to be honest. Um, I like the design. I like the like the web. The web stuff is stitching. On the, oh, that's cool. That is that's pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Well, we found the uh, we found the chair. I think for us probably. Um, right. PSVR two. Um, I tell you what. Let's move on to PlayStation because we found a pretty like most of the deals in the UK are um, are not particularly spectacular. On, on there's not a lot of deals in the UK, but we did find one at a place called Curries.co.uk, right? So, most places a PS5 is yeah. um, is I think 479 pounds. Uh, Curries has been really slow this morning, and that I suspect means that people lots are of hammering, people are <laughs> hammering it for yeah, Black Friday for the deals. Um, but yeah, people for, uh, people who are in America and um, celebrate Thanksgiving. What is the day after Thanksgiving like? Because in the UK, like we don't have Thanksgiving, we have Christmas, and then the day after Christmas is Boxing Day, and everyone just sort of lies around because all the shops are still shut. Yeah, mainly, everyone just lies around eating like leftover food from the day before. Is that what the day after Thanksgiving is like, or are people like productive and up and doing stuff? Because um, I've never experienced US Thanksgiving. Never been there in November. So. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I just interested. I discovered a, a horrible, horrible. Um, uh, oops, sorry, I've broken. There you go. Um, I discovered a, a horrible. Um, I discovered a horrible fact about the day after Thanksgiving, um, which is that um, plumbers in the US refer to it as Brown Friday. That's it's horrendous, isn't it? Horrendous. Yeah, I don't don't need to know that. Right. Okay. Here's a, here's a PlayStation Five deal. Um, which it doesn't look like it's anything special. This is the price you will see on a um, on a PlayStation Five everywhere currently. But oh, this is the, the slim one. Yes, this is the new slim one. So it's a new design. It's not quite as enormous. It's not going to. And take it has a, the disc. It has the Blu-ray. Yeah, drive. it has the Blu-ray drive. But um, the key thing is, if you use the code Slim Twenty here in the UK, so S L I M, and then the number twenty. You can get twenty quid off, so it goes down to four five nine, and I think that's pretty much the best. That's the best um, deal we've managed to find uh, in terms of PlayStation Five uh, this Black Friday, Black Friday twenty twenty three. Yeah. 
there are links to all this stuff, by the way, as mentioned uh, on the link on screen, tinyurl.com slash BlackFridayOX. Uh, but yeah, so it, this this one, you enter the code SLIM20. It's one of the last stages before you check out. Do make sure you sort of, uh, before you enter your card details, I think there's an option to, to add a promo code. And it is SLIM20. I checked it earlier. It, it worked. Uh, and these are, this is a pre-order, obviously, for when it's released in the UK. But um, but yeah, you'll get that 20 quid off. 20 quid off the new PlayStation 5 is, is pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Um, so, yeah. And then in terms of the US, uh, let's have a look. There's a couple of bundles in the US, actually. Um, again, the, pr- the, the prices are um, pretty standard across the... Um, across the board in terms of the console stuff. But here are your two, I think your two main options in terms of um, deals for for Black Friday. So we've got a Modern Warfare 3 bundle and a Spider-Man 3 bundle. They're both the same price. They're $499. Um, now, I've actually, I've been playing a bit of Modern Warfare 3 recently. My friend picked it up. I haven't played Call of Duty multiplayer in like a long time. Um, and uh, my friend picked it up and has been really keen on it. And you know, persuaded me to install it and, and have a crack. And it's I heard the it's single good. player campaign is the, the single player campaign is awful. I think IGN gave it four out of ten, which like, you know it's pretty pretty damning really to be honest. But um but yeah the multiplayer is still really fun. Like it's there's a load of classic ma- maps that have been remastered from sort of old Call of Duty games. It's really really good fun. But how much is the how much is the old model, not the slim? Uh let's have a look. Let's have a look. Um, I just want a PS5. Uh, so that's the that's the original one, isn't it? That's not the slim. Fi- yeah, f- yeah, five hundred eighty nine. So I think these are still no four ninety nine. These so these for the disc. This is a disc console, four ninety nine. Yeah. Um, but these old ones appear to be appear to all all be sort of original price. Oh, we go. Um, so is that that's, no, that's still got a disc drive on that's it. That's got a disc drive, yeah, yeah, yeah. So four four yeah. nine, but for the older model. So that's how much the old yeah. model is. Uh four four nine. That's all right. It's not a Black Friday deal. I think that's their standard price for it. But um, you know, if you're getting a if you're getting a brand new PS five, you might as well pay the, the fifty bucks extra to get the, the new slimmer small one. It is Lewis in the chat says three hundred and eighty nine pounds for the old model on Curry's. That's pretty good. Should we go and have a look at that? Yeah. Um Web a tip here as well from Sparkly Rockets, who says, um, "My hot Black Friday tip is the Hitman collection is sixty percent off on Steam today." Well, That's go. pretty good, isn't it? That's pretty good. Uh, That's three Hitman games. Let's have a look at that in a moment. Um, yeah, I, Curry's has fallen over. I think I, I, I'm going to put that entirely down to us. I'm going to say that we crashed. Damn. Curry's. Okay. Yeah, we broke the internet. All right, um, good job, Curry's. Like, like Kim Kardashian. Um, anyway, I was going to say, really, the, the Modern Warfare thing is fine, but when it comes down to it spider-man 2 is one of the highest rated games this year like it was getting 10 out of 10s like people absolutely love it it might not have as much longevity as a as a sort of single player only game but um but it's one of the best games of the year so to to have that as part of a black friday deal it's pretty good really i would say mm-hmm. um i've not played it myself yet but um i know luke and ellen have played a bunch and it's really good apparently so it still has that white spider on the on the suit though andy How yeah do you feel i can't about really it? get behind it can't get behind it so have you, you have, your thoughts on that haven't uh, mellowed haven't changed yeah no fair enough it looks awful what do you make of the miles morales suit though i mean yeah the miles morales suit's cool i like the black and the red looks good, um, what i crucially what i like about it is it doesn't have a huge horrible white spider on the chest. <laughs> fair enough that's the main fair main good thing enough. about it. should we have a quick look at that eyes should be bigger i should always be bigger should we have a quick look at that uh steam deal um yes it's store.steam isn't it Oh, store.outsidexports.com popping up. Store. Oh yeah, just remember that, folks. Yep. Sale on at store.outsidexports.com. Yep. We are doing a sale there. Um, Get a new T-shirt that looks like this. Let's have a look at Hitman. Thanks for the recommendation, Hitman. Uh, where's the deal? Hitman collection. There you go. Is that what we're after? Is it what we're after? Uh, Hitman collection. Sixty percent off on Steam. So... Minus sixty percent. Oh my god. Is it? Is does Hitman 3 no that's not the let me type in Hitman Collection and see what happens mm. here we go it includes 6 games view page oh don't you're going to make me actually you weren't born in... I... you weren't born let me tell year. you I was born in 1901 uh-huh. um, 102 years old yeah wait 122 years <laughs> old uh, minus 35% 
Oh, okay, so the these are, so these are all the these are all the oh wow, this is the old the ones. old ones, yeah, yeah. So, Codename Forty Seven, which probably won't run on your modern PC, Silent Assassin, mm. which may run on your modern PC, Contracts, which may again, Blood Money is one of the best games, one of my favorite games of all time. Hitman Blood Money is so yeah. good, and Absolution, Absolution is, okay. is fine. Uh, what about the other the modern Hitman games? Uh, is there a collection of those? I mean, it's just Hitman Three, isn't it? And then all the levels get imported. Do they? Yeah, but do you have to own them all? Um, I think you may need the expansion pass and stuff. Uh, what does this? Oh, here we go. Hi here go. Hitman, Hitman World, World of Assassination, Assassination has. Oh, it has the Hitman Two. Um, pass. Yeah, it's got all of them. Brilliant. It's got all of them. I mean, that is. That is so or good. Or £23, 23 pounds. Pounds. Oh my god. That yeah. is Alright, that, that is a bargain. If you've not picked up Hitman yet, now is the time. We should play some more Hitman. I love that game so much. So, so yeah. much. Um, Alright, should we see if Curry's has woken up again? See if, see if it's been uncrashed. <laughs> Hello! It's, it's been back. cloud... It's been cloud flared. Yeah, it has been cloud flared. Uh, so... These are the digital editions. This is the original. Yeah, 389. Look at this, fr look at this friendly yeah, expert the who wants to help us. Well, should we chat? Should we have a chat? No, let's not do that. Um, what are your top Black Friday deals, friend? Where's the Where's the just the stat? Oh, here we go. Yeah, three hundred eighty nine is a Black Friday and beyond deal. So I guess that's going to be the case for a while. That's pretty good, to be honest. Um, that is, yeah. Get it in the. Should we pop it in the, in the pop blog. it in the live blog? Yes. Just remind you that all the all these links and things. Jane is working tirelessly to pop those in the uh, in the tinyurl.com slash Black Friday. Yeah. If you are going to take advantage of any of these deals, do click on the links in our yeah our page. We may because... receive a little bit of a commission for for finding these deals for you. I think that, <laughs> a sweet <laughs> kickback. Sweet kickback. Yes. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know how any of this works. Um, so Xbox deals. You know, there's there's not a lot in the UK. I would say. Um, I think we're sort of um, no, not a lot of deals for for Series X. But if we, I think if we go back to Very.co.uk, which was pretty good, wasn't it? Um, if we search for if we search for Xbox console, oh, this isn't too bad actually. Three fifty nine. That's not a bad price for a for a, a Series. Um, yeah, for a Series X. Or you could or you could spend an extra. 90 pounds to play modern warfare 3 doesn't seem like a good oh this is low stock selling fast apparently um oh, console right. optional extras we'll get on that but um look at this deal for a um a, a series s a series s with game pass ultimate 199 quid that's pretty that good is, isn't it yeah that's phenomenal yeah. i really like the series s there's been a lot of chat recently obviously um when Baldur's Gate 3 finally comes out on Xbox, on Series S, you won't be able to play split-screen co-op. They've confirmed that. And so there are, like, technical limitations. But if you only have a 1080p TV or monitor, yeah. if it's in your bedroom, for example, or whatever, the Series S is a really good console. Like, it's really good. Um, Game Pass Ultimate is also really good. Yeah, yeah, three months of that is worth... I What are they charging for Game Pass Ultimate these days? That's going to be, like, of 30 to 40 quid or something like that. Um, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that's a pretty good deal. There's a Black Friday deal with Diablo. 389 versus 359. Is, is Diablo 4 worth 30, 30 quid? quid. Uh, yeah. It depends if you're into isometric RPGs, I suppose. Yeah, I don't think it... I, I've not played it myself, but um, I don't think it was received that brilliantly. Um, I think it was a bit it of a... There was no Diablo 3. Yeah, well, that's it's... it. Yeah, yeah, so... Um, EA Sports FC for two seven four compared to like well, you're paying seventy four quid. You're not paying seventy five quid no, for exactly exactly fake FIFA. I think that would be a bad a bad deal, wouldn't it? Uh, should we see what Doctor Gerb says that the people involved with that beard care place, Mad Cat, include the Blue Meanie, Al Snow, Hornswoggle, and my favourite Krazy Steve. Who's Krazy? Who's Krazy Steve? I, I know all the I know all of the other ones you mentioned apart from Krazy Steve. Al Snow, I've, have you watched that documentary on Netflix called Wrestlers? No, I haven't yet. It's about Ohio Valley Wrestling, which is sort of part owned by Al Snow, and he's in it a, a lot. Uh, yeah, I liked and, Al Snow. I, I thought he yeah. he did well um, to to sort of gain the prominence he did when his gimmick was so weird. Um, particularly all the head stuff that was just very strange. Um, yeah, but you know this that was uh, of that time. It helped him get over, didn't it? Yeah, it's true. Uh, um, random username for Chris has a question. When sure. does Nando's become a cheeky Nando's? Uh, when you're not supposed yeah, to be when, having Yeah, when it's Nando's. unplanned, right? A cheeky Nando's yeah. is when you didn't plan to go to Nando's 
and then someone he likes proposes. i guess it's spontaneous yeah. nandos is a kind of another way of saying yeah. cheeky nandos yeah, that's true. yeah um now we've got a few deals here like xbox deals here at um walmart again um the diablo bundle there is is that much better than a standard see that's that's a better deal now because it's the same price as a regular console right so but you get it but you get yeah. diablo so you're actually getting it for free at that point rather than spending an extra 30 pounds on it that's pretty good again good some good deals on the on the series the series s, s. I, I think the gilded hunter bundle that is just a load of currency for free to play games so rather than those i mean those games like fortnite i think is free to play rocket league i believe is free to play and I, is fall guys free to play possibly yeah yeah it is um yeah. so i don't know if i'd recommend that over yeah you can get an so you're, you're spending an extra 20 quid to get a bunch of currency maybe if you super care about cosmetics in those games uh but i would probably go for the one with three months of game pass ultimate in terms of the series x stuff now there's a there's a bundle here with forza horizon 5 and uh and the hot wheels um expansion but the, the thing i would say about that much as i love forza horizon 5 and i think it's brilliant um yeah. it's obviously on game pass it's a microsoft first party game Whereas Diablo 4, I believe, although the Activision deal has gone through, I don't believe Diablo 4 is on Game Pass yet. But correct me if I'm wrong no. in the chat. Um, so if you're looking for one of these two deals, I would go for the for the Diablo 4 bundle, probably. Um, I think that makes the most sense. Um, so yeah, I, I would go for that. Because um, there you really are just getting the same, same deal as a regular console, but you're getting a free game. So... Uh Saz Thompson uh, is watching from Australia and says, weird stream premise, but I'm into it. Cool, yeah. Thanks for joining, I mean, yeah, Saz. Hopefully, uh, uh, although we're not covering sort of Aussie deals, um, hopefully you're happy to just hang out and, I don't know, maybe gain some inspiration for that stuff. Um, any uh, any sort of suggestions in the chat for deals that people have gotten already? Um, Tom Titherington says, putting this out there, El Gato has some stream stream decks off by 15 to 20%. Oh, cool. Yeah, we love El Gato kit. Let's have a look at what they've got going on. Um, I, I could, um, could really do a stream deck if you're un, unaware is when you're a streamer um you generally have different scenes so the one that yep. mike and i are in now is a scene the holding screen with um the thumbnail and the music that's a different scene and the stream deck is a series of buttons you can use to switch between them without having to sort of muck around in your that's correct um, streaming software the new uh, let's have a look at us deals first and then we'll move over to uk deals um the the thing about stream decks actually is that even though the that's that's the sort of functionality it was designed for that's why it's called the stream deck switching between those scenes actually i believe these days there's a bunch of stuff you can do um so this deal ends at the end of the 27th which is cyber monday isn't it um yeah. if we have a look at the um that's a pretty pretty good that's deal 30 dollars off a stream deck yeah so um what you can do now is that it actually works with a bunch of different bits of software and it's got these sort of little you can see these kind of um twiddly Ooh. knobs um yeah what are the what are the knobs so they're for um you know you can kind of change video game audio on the fly things like that change your light brightness oh, wow, okay. stuff like that um but it also works with Damn. a bunch of other software so like i think there's there's profiles for sort of adobe software i need a new stream i need a new stream deck yeah yeah um there's there's profiles for sort of adobe software and things like that um there's a sort of whole storefront, I believe, in the software, um, which allows you to customize it to a bunch of different things. So in the same way that you've got sort of, uh, you know, when we're editing, for example, in Adobe Premiere, we've got a bunch of um, presets and shortcuts and things. You can assign a bunch of those shortcuts to to the Stream Deck. So it's a lot more flexible than it is when we first started using that. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It looks good in white, doesn't it? it looks pretty yeah. slick in white. Oh, I nah. might have to grab one of these. Not a fan of white electronics generally. Oh, fair enough. The first PSP, the first Sony PSP I ever bought was white, and I thought it looked really cool. Uh, but I guess it was the mid two thousands, probably. Yeah, um, I had a white three DS. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I had one of those as well, actually. I think. Um, okay, uh, should we see? Should we see what that is in the UK? Let's have a look for our our UK fans. Um, Stream Deck Plus. Let's have a look at the Elgato store. Oh, that's still a. So, Stream Deck Plus. That seems. I don't know what Stream Deck Plus is. Sorry. Um, I would have thought that would have been. Maybe they don't have an Elgato s store in the um, in the UK. Should we see if the Amazon one takes us to. Um, I really want an oh, yeah. 60 x 
What is it on Amazon? We're going to have a look at some games as well in yes. a bit. What games are reduced? I've been getting more into physical media lately. I bought some Blu-rays the other day. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You lent me the Chucky Cause... TV series. Oh, yeah, I lent you season one of Chucky on Blu-ray. Um, but I was, yeah, I was looking at like Prime or whatever, and it's like you can buy each individual episode for X amount of money. Yeah. Or I could go to a shop and buy the entire season on Blu-ray for like eight pounds. Sometimes, so. um, sometimes the um, the physical version is like if you particularly if you're getting like a 4K Blu-ray, sometimes the the video quality on a 4K Blu-ray is better quality than the 4K digital version, basically. Yeah, if you're stream, if you're like streaming it. Yeah. Let me just have a look at that HD 60x because that's a, apparently a really good bit of kit. Well, that doesn't seem to be on sale here in the US. That I can see. But yeah, wow, that that stream deck. What's the yeah, 159 pounds here in the UK for stream deck plus? That's pretty good. It's a pretty, little, it's pretty. You're a little low compared to the background music, Mike. Um, okay. So just bring the, the background music down, just to just to listen. I shall. I shall. To touch. I've got, I'm listening to uh, lo-fi stream beats, basically. There you go. Ooh. Let's bring it down there. Careful with those lo-fi beats, Mike. Yeah, this is uh, stream beats is great. It's by uh, there's a YouTuber. You never know when they'll turn on you. This guy YouTube, uh, YouTuber called Harris Heller, who's um, really interesting. In fact, on this Elgato stuff, you know, and, and all sorts of kind of streaming related and adjacent kit. Um, should we have a look at some video games? What do you reckon? I like video games. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's have a. I mean, we might as well have a look at um, at what Amazon's deals are in, in sort of video games. Let's have a look at that and see what's. See what's going on there. Uh, if folks uh, have today off, mm. let us know what you're up to. What are you doing with your with your Black Friday? Yeah, uh, you going for a big a big walk? That's like a Boxing Day thing. Yeah, everyone's like, well, there's nothing else to do. Let's go on a big walk. I don't know, maybe. Where's video games on their giant list of things they do? Oh, I don't know. They. They could have made this easier to, to navigate. But anyway, um, computers and software or TVs? A few people in the chat who've been reading my horror stories. Thanks, everyone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. How much longer have we, we got of choice? Just this week. Oh, really? This Just is the final one? Final one on Sunday. Yeah. And uh, the low, low Black Friday price of absolutely free. So there you go. Uh, toys and games. This doesn't seem like video. Oh, ooh, I do like that monster truck. Um Shout out to Daktari in the chat, uh, who says, "Hey guys, weird concept, but that means I can give you some money for being there when I was having a bad time during the year." Oh. Now working on launching my own company, so thanks for keeping me company. Question for Mike: Do you play any Snowrunner? Uh, I've, we played Snowrunner a bit. I actually sort of I liked Snowrunner enough that I persuaded Andy and Jane to play it in a live stream. I had an awful time. Yeah, you hated it. <laughs> but um, hated it so much. Uh, oh, hello. Here's some here's some stuff. It's really not for me. So but... um, there's a bunch of EA games on sale at the moment. EA and uh, Warner Bros. games and Bandai Namco actually, so we'll have a look at those as well. But the the one we found that was really really good is is Jedi Survivor, right? Uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X. Whoa, version. minus fifty seven percent on Jedi Survivor. Thirty quid for one of. It came out this year, right? Did it come out this year? Yeah, oh yeah, it came out yeah. this year. Jedi Survivor is genuinely It's great. really good. It's really really good. Um, I enjoyed it more than Jedi Outcast or whatever it was called. Right. Jedi um, Fallen Order. That was it. Mm. Um, so, yeah, Series X version, 30 quid. Pretty good Black Friday deal. Little shout out as well. EAWRC came out about two weeks ago. And if you like your racing sims, it's really, really good. I don't think it's selling particularly well because otherwise they wouldn't have slashed. I mean, it was already yeah. quite an affordable game. It was like, by, you know, relative to AAA games, it was 45 quid. But 30 quid, if you are into your racing games like EA Sports WRC, it's really, really good. It's by the guys who made Dirt Rally, but it's got the official World Rally license so um it's pretty good dead space what did you reckon andy is dead space worth 25 quid it's yeah i think it's worth 25 quid um it's yeah it's good spacey horror mm. um i think it was you know as compelling as uh any other horror game that came out this year maybe less than resident Evil 4 but it's really the only squishy. reason we, we stopped playing it on the channel is because youtube wouldn't let us run out to yes it. it's true it's true because it's so squishy it's but yeah it's squishy. it's good it's hard it's challenging um 
yeah, I think it's a really good game. I know this game was has not sold well. Um, I hey. was, there was a no. I know for oh for, wow, nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine for Mortals of Avium. Um, it is absolutely worth nineteen ninety nine. It's well worth twenty quid. Uh, they complained about uh, the time it was released, uh, and they com- complained that um, people. Uh, no one knew that Baldur's Gate 3 was going to be quite so good. These are the excuses yeah. that they've given for the underperforming of Immortals of Avium. I would venture it's, a, it's got a it's got a really forgettable name. Um, it's a fun it's a fun shooter. It's got some nice puzzle aspects to it. And the quest in the chat says Dead Space is on Game Pass. So ah, there you go. Okay. Well, here's an interesting thing that I spotted, um, and we'll cover that as well. I think we, that's the best of the EA stuff. I think definitely. I mean, the F1 games are good, but you, I think you have to be a, a, an F1 fan to to really get a kick out of those. I think Jedi Survivor is absolutely the the choice deal of that. Sort <laughs> Jedi Survivor, yeah, Jedi Survivor is really good, but like towards the end of the game, it has a a twist a story twist so infuriating i <laughs> shouted oh f off at the screen <laughs> all right well so if, but apart from that if you want to gauge your own that, reaction to that then um check out yeah. jedi survivor i i noticed as well so if we go up to the uh where were we uh we were agr at- flynn 11 is spending their day writing out xmas cards for 70 of their work colleagues so well, good luck and godspeed Jeez. that sounds remember to take regular wrist rests um so if we look at the um warner bros stuff um if we look at gotham knights here's an interesting thing or at least i find it interesting so black friday deal on gotham knights the game is available on game pass as you'll remember from our game pass roundup video andy yeah 14 pounds 95 on xbox series x but thirty pounds on PS5, and that's the Black, oh, wow. the Black Friday deal. Um, obviously, yeah, get they, dunked on PlayStation. They were comparably now, Andy. Let's not start another console war. Um, <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, I mean, that looks like a. That's an even better Black Friday deal. Wait, that's a Series X game. That's a Series X game. Is this a digital code or something? Maybe it's a digital. Code. Yeah, it must be. Um, but either way. Yeah, much more affordable. A tenner for Gotham Knight. That was your game of the year yeah, last year. I really year. enjoyed it. It's not as good as the Arkham games. Obviously, it's not as good as the Arkham games. That's what I said when we when we made it game of the year. But it really it got short shrift from just about everyone. And um, I don't know for that price, like buy it for a bunch of your ma- uh, uh, you know three of your mates for Christmas, and then you know play it playing co op. Um, I, yeah. I believe it's four player co op, which should be a really good laugh. And you know what? I'm just going to come out and say it: the, the upcoming Suicide Squad game. From what we've seen in the gameplay, it might not be much better. It might look better, but I, I don't know if it's going to be that much better. So why not just play play Gotham Knights? Um, there are a bunch of other... Uh, I wonder if we can get to them here via the uh, via the thing. Um, this interface is, is all over the place, this Amazon interface. Yeah. Um, PC and video games. There was a... They did have a... They did have a special Black Friday sort of video games... Uh, the more expensive one is the deluxe edition, lads," says David ah. Felsman. Well, then for a fiver, probably just get the uh, get the deluxe the edition, one. right? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It depends what the deluxe. If the deluxe edition has interesting bat costumes, then maybe spend the extra fiver. I don't know. Batman is one of the heroes with the f- fewest amounts of variance in his costumes. I feel. Yeah, Unless but it's you're fine going into those weird like. What are those like Ar- Armenzur ones from? Where it's all red and yellow. Uh, I'm, I forget the exact I'm name. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, uh, what I would say is that Batman, spoiler alert, dies. Zer N R. That was it. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I was just I was trying to remember the uh, the weird coloured Batman. It was the Batman of Zer N R. Yeah. Here we go. Electronic Arts video games. Obviously, uh, there were a bunch of other Warner Bros. ones, I believe, and the Bandai Namco ones as well, weren't there? Everyone in the chat just um, having fun with the with the idea that Baldur's Gate being three being good is, is the an excuse <laughs> yeah, yeah. why everything yeah. wrong has happened in your life. I mean, I'm sort of paraphrasing, but that's basically what he said. Uh, well, you're t- you're two hours late for the for the meeting. What's going on? Uh, yeah, sorry, Baldur's Gate three was good. Yeah. <laughs> um, Skywalker Saga, fourteen pounds, not bad. These Lego games are okay. Uh, they're all very similar, I would say. Uh, yeah. Oh, Back for Blood, right? Is eight pounds in the UK. Oh, <laughs> I know, yeah. Aww. That's almost. It's almost tragic. Poor back, it includes an AR poor back badge for blood. as well. Oh, that's nice. Uh, I always liked the idea of Lego DC supervillains, but um, 
But yeah, I would say Back for Blood. Eight quid for Back for Blood. It was only well, it was only a tenner before, so you're not yeah. you're not exactly getting the most choice um, Black Friday deal if you pick that up. But uh, I don't know, Back for Blood's pretty good, isn't it? Page two, maybe there's more treats on page two. Lego The Incredibles. Mm, yeah, a lot of Lego. A lot of Lego. Oh, Lego City Undercover for the Nintendo Switch. I liked Lego City Undercover. It was sort of like GTA, to, but for kids. To be honest, the Switch is the best platform for Lego games. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I think. Absolutely. Um, Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, I don't think it was particularly well received, was it? Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. A bunch of Lego games. Lego stuff. Maybe, yeah, if you've got a Switch. If you're picking up a Switch, Let, yeah, Lego games. Let's have a look at Bandai Namco. Mo, Mojang is all going to be Minecraft stuff, isn't it? So, uh, Paw Patrol, Jumanji, wow. Oh, uh, Devil in Me, 17 quid's a lot for one of those games. Dark Souls Trilogy, oh. Okay. Oh, man, Tw 23 pounds for... For three Dark Souls games. That is, I didn't Dark even know Souls that games. existed as a, as a bundle. That I would absolutely recommend. If you've never... Played Dark Souls. If you played Elden Ring and you're like, maybe I should try the others. Right, exactly, exactly. Um, they're really good. They're really good. I wonder if it contains all the all the DLC as well. Should we have a look? Yeah, let's get that in the list. That's I like the sort of fancy. It looks like a fancy book, doesn't it? Um, yeah, a tome. And obviously, if it's an Xbox One game, it will run on your Series X. They're backwards compatible. Yeah, so Dark Souls Remastered, brilliant. Obviously, Scholar of the Verse Sin version of Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 The Fire Fades. Now, I believe, I may be wrong here. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. But the Xbox version never got a 60 frame per second patch. The, P play the PS4 one did. But the Xbox version of Dark Souls 3 never got any kind of like series, not even Series X, but Xbox One X upgrade. So that's a bit of a shame, but it's still not a reason not to buy the Dark Souls trilogy for 20 quid. It, that's a really good deal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there you go. This Game of the Year edition, Fire Fades, if you've got a PS4 Pro, um, then it's uh, it's got 60 frames per second, I believe, or 4K or one of those. Some sort of visual upgrade that is that is worth your time. Uh, Subnautica. I didn't even know that was. They did a box version of that. Uh, Baby Tim Craven says, "Great news! Just seen Rise of Kong is forty three percent off, only nineteen ninety nine. That's amazing. Oh, okay, like, let's have a look at that. Is that on Amazon? Um, maybe. What Rise of Kong? Yeah, it's the worst game of the year. Like, yeah, so well, by like, default, yeah, maybe you want to check it out. Uh, Ace Combat Seven. Not super bothered. See, here you go. The game of the year edition of Dark Souls Three is only five pounds less than the than the trilogy so just get the trilogy did i see armored core though that would be near the top wouldn't it or would it Apparently armored not. core there was ace combat yeah we saw ace it? combat but on the if i go onto page two armored core is that part of the deal uh dragon ball fighters is supposed to be pretty fighters good. fighters with a Z. I heard after they introduced android 21 lab coat it fell off right i see uh <laughs> fair enough um uh, Witcher 3, 11 quid. That's pretty good, isn't it? it was only Who doesn't own The Witcher 3 at this it's point? It's a though. good point. It's a good point. Um, it contains all the DLC. Huh. Digital download of Cyberpunk. Eh, it recently got an update, but again, £1. It's not really a great deal. Not worth bothering. See, so this is weird then. Like, if we look here, that is Armored, Armored Core... Isn't it Armored Core? That 6, is Armored Core, right? Yeah, but it's it doesn't it doesn't exist in their deal. Well, why don't you search for Armored Core Six and see what it's going idea. for? Yeah, let's find out. Because that is a recent game, and um... we should probably mention regarding Amazon. Yeah, that uh, their workers are striking yes. as of Black Friday. Yeah, they are. So if you're ordering things from Amazon, they might arrive a fair bit later because uh, certainly yeah. in Europe, in the Coventry factory in the UK, um, the workers are striking. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a Black Friday deal on this stuff at all. So, um, yeah, well done. Um, should we have a look at Amazon.com just to, to clear that out in terms of game yeah. stuff? Um, let's have a look at that. Amazon.com. Uh, let's have a look at what their video game deals are. Um, right. PC and gaming. PCs and gaming. Oh, Meta Quest 2, actually. I have one of these. I bought it. Why? That's not bad. Okay, well, because I like VR stuff. Okay. <laughs> it's not... VR's good. 
And the Quest 2, I mean, obviously it's not as good as the Quest 3, which has just come out, but $250. Mm -hmm. There's only one left in stock. So if you would like to... Uh, if you would like to be the one who who steals that, the one who gets that, see all the. You need a bit more space than that, though. Oh, you can't even get that. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, two hundred and fifty. If you're if you're new to VR, like that's a that's not a bad deal, really, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, but let's go back to. All right. What else do people want? Yeah. Displays, TVs, monitors, that kind of stuff. Oh, I'll tell you How what. I believe Samsung.com has a bunch of. Um, Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get onto Samsung.com. I was having some problems with that recently. So it's taking me to the UK. That's fine. That's fine. Um, just take me to the take me to the deals. Take me straight to the deals, Samsung. Here we go. Black Friday. Let's see what the story is. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Well, it, that looks like a sort of sci-fi city they've created out of there. <laughs> bizarre. Bizarre. Uh, I don't know much about the um, mobile phones, but I do know that um, I did buy a Samsung TV recently. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. The menus are a bit confusing, I would say. But um, yeah, I think these um, these Q95Cs and stuff, they're pretty good. 200 quid is not loads. You could buy a 98-inch <laughs> um uh 4k tv for six grand you say two grand hey apparently. save two grand though yeah that is a lot that is a lot that is a um, lot should we have a look at that why not i don't think anyone's gonna buy a 98 inch tv are they really but um yeah that's a, you might. not bad 85 inch for three grand that's enormous still it's don't enormous. buy a television that is too big for your living room just because you can save two grand on it i would say um 75 inch again sort of three grand it's the one a sense they don't really need more than like 50 inch yeah i mine's a i think mine's a 49 inch or 50 inch tv yeah 55 inches not i mean mate i mean that's based on london flat sizes if you live in an enormous american house yeah. maybe you do need one this big i would say that's that's okay for then so the tv i bought was a neo qled one yeah uh, and it does look really pretty pretty it's not quite luke's beloved oled but um, mm -hmm. but you know, and what's quite cool if you're a sort of video games fan, um, this stuff has like Xbox integrated. I don't know if you saw that a while ago, but like so Xbox Game Pass streaming and stuff. If you have game, like if you don't own an Xbox, but you would like to take advantage of of Game Pass, you can stream direct to this TV. You can connect a controller, like buy, you could buy an Xbox controller. And connect to the TV and play Game Pass stuff streamed direct to the TV. It's got a built-in Xbox is, gaming. Okay, app. I didn't realise that. That is very. So cool. if you're a PlayStation owner, but you'd like to play some of these Xbox exclusives like Starfield, for example, Sea of Thieves, Sea of Thieves, all that stuff, you can. And you, as long as you've got a fast enough internet connection, you can actually. It's got the. It's got the Xbox app stuff. Plus this. These things come with like six months of Disney Plus, and you can get fifty percent off a soundbar or no free soundbar. Sorry. On that TV, um, that's that'll be automatically added at the cart. Um, but yeah, if you look at, uh, does it show it there? It doesn't show it there. Digital Foundry in the chat. Oh yeah, they hi, say, Digital hi chaps. How's it going? Found any good deals recently? Yeah, I think the best one we found so far is that in the UK is that Curry's PS5 deal, Slim Twenty. The links in the so if you head to tinyurlcom slash ox there's a link to that Curry's deal in there. And I think that's the best one we've found so far because it feels like a, because it's a, a voucher code thing. It feels like a cheeky secret deal that um, not anyone else has, uh, has really spotted necessarily. So um, yeah, I would definitely recommend that. Um, should we see if um, Samsung.com will let me in with a, with a, with a VPN? <laughs> sure. Uh, so if we stick this in and put our location as Americas, let's see if Samsung.com freaks out or not. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Doesn't like oh. it. Even the VPN can't can't save us now. Um, <laughs> yeah, I I tell you what, actually, is a is a um, is an interesting deal. Uh, is uh, so if you go to monitors. Yeah, the, I do need a new monitor because I um, cracked this one accidentally. Yeah, so there's a uh, this ludicrous and I. Jane can probably vouch Whoa. for this because I think she tried one, actually tested one out for a while. But there's 200 quid off this um, Odyssey OLED 
so Luke will approve. 240 hertz, that means you can get 240 frames per second if your computer's powerful enough out of this monitor. And it's a, it's an enormous... Surely the human eye can't see that. I think beyond like 144, it starts to... Yeah, you start to get diminishing returns. But look at this. Uh, I remember when Jane had this. Yeah. She was like, yeah, one of Samsung's uh, favoured chosen. Yeah, so she borrowed it for a while. Um, 0 0.03 milliseconds grey to grey response time, which is pretty pretty quick, I think, probably. Uh, you got to get that grey to grey <laughs> response yeah. time. Um, I would... I would love one of these for my sim rig. I would absolutely love one. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's so for racing sims and stuff, having that kind of wrap around so you can see when cars are coming on the inside uh -huh. or outside um, is super useful. I can't afford this right now, but um, it's probably the best price. And also, although it's not a sort of, you can get ones that are sort of like 4K, the equivalent of like a couple of 4K screens, I think, side by side. Yeah. But actually, if your P unless you've got a 4080 in your PC, you're unlikely to be able to run that at sort of decent frame rates. So I think actually the 1440p one is a bit of a sweet spot, really, to be honest, in terms of resolution. So uh, you get you get six months of Disney Plus with that as well. So. That's a, I think that's a good Black Friday deal. Uh, it looks like they've got a more sensible 28-inch, uh, 144 hertz, 4K um, gaming monitor there for the yeah. UK as well. So that's that's pretty good. People asking how I cracked my monitor. Um, I Did you, currently you I sit in the center. I sit in the center of a web of like a thousand wires, and <laughs> I've got three separate monitors on this desk. If you count my laptop screen, and it just fell off the desk because oh, no. of various cables. Oh so, no! Well, it's a disaster in here. Um, I think there's a, those are, those are a couple of pretty good monitor deals. I would say this is the obviously the more extreme end, um, but I think Jane was pretty positive about the, you know, the benefits of having a single wraparound screen rather than two separate ones. You know, obviously you can you, know, you place your windows. You can have you know YouTube running up here and your you know word processor or whatever on the other side. Or for gaming, it gives you that sort of wraparound. And not just for racing sims. Most modern games support like ultra wide. Uh, aspect ratios now and i think of the ultra wide monitors the samsung uh, odyssey is generally considered to be the best one i'm sure if digital foundry are in the chat they can um they can confirm or deny that but um they sent a smiley face which is a bit enigmatic oh yeah okay like mysterious like the mona lisa yeah. i've often said that D digital foundry are like the mona lisa um yeah cool can i can i do a, 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 a can i briefly go into um sicko mode and look at uh, pretend arcade cabinets briefly <laughs> yeah, fine. You, uh, while you do that, I will let people know hmm. that uh, we have a sale on at store.outsideexbox.com. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's look at that first. Uh, Where? Yeah, look. Check it out. We have a Black Friday sale. Badges. We've got up to 50% off some products. It's your last chance to get some items. We found a box of scarves and hats yep, in the are. corner of the warehouse. These are the last ones of these. Uh, they're heavily discounted. You get yourself a bobble hat. Mm. You get yourself a scarf for twelve pounds. That's such a bargain. Let me just show you. The, um, uh, this is my favourite thing about this. We've now got the capability on our store zoom to in. zoom in on things. Look at the stitching on that. Mm, beautiful stitching. Look how precise it is. Yeah. Totally legible. Looks really, really good. So yeah, last chance to get those. We've got a new T-shirt yes. which I am wearing. It says "What do like uh, Johnny? What they say when they're being the DM?" Yeah. Yep. Um, normally, so you can get normally. Normally, Johnny says that during those awkward pauses where we're all terrified that we're going to have a total party wipe, and there's yeah. silence, and then Johnny will say, "What do?" Um, yeah. And and the answer is normally, and that's that. I have no idea what to do, Johnny. <laughs> um, yeah. Otherwise, well, do I'd something. have said something. Um, yeah. We also we have a new pin set with the characters. I your, love all this, your all your favorite I characters. Love this pin set. Look at the colors. Uh, Grob Grob Thor is yeah. back in pin there form. He is looking sad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, uh, the perfect gift for the Ox Venture fan in your life. We yeah. also have signed figurines. We uh, running low on sat those. there. Yeah, there it is. Your if you want to get a figurine signed or otherwise, uh, we are down to the last stock of that. So now there is your chance. Particularly Prudence. That one is selling like hotcakes. Yes. Yeah. If you were if you were holding out on a Prudence. Um, Co maybe yeah. Time Corazon. There is signed Corazon ones. They just haven't put them on the front page for some <laughs> reason. You have to click through. They're, they've put an additional barrier to entry to buying a Corazon one. It's not even um, alphabetical, Andy. That's the worst of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They've just they've. I know. You know. This is, what's this anti-Corazon prejudice? Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Um, anyway. 
Digital Foundry is in the chat saying, can confirm uh, Samsung's ultra wides are actually brilliant. The only downside is that all other monitors look puny. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. You've got the official Digital Foundry uh, verdict there. Uh, anyway, thank you check so out this uh, the st sale over on um, store.outsideXbox.com. Christmas shipping cutoff dates are there if you want to get a yep. Christmas present for someone. Um, yeah, make someone's Christmas more rock century. Yep. Uh, right. I'm going to have a quick look for Arcade 1-Up stuff uh, on Amazon. Mike has a problem. Everyone. I do have a problem. I'm filling my house with um, with Arcade 1-Up machines. Um, oh, look, there's a bunch of Black Friday deals here. These are, I think 559 is quite pricey. Obviously, it's Star Wars. It's the original Star Wars. It's down it from is, 700, though. It is down from 700, but then 700 was too expensive to start with, I feel like. 509 for Fast and Furious. Again, not too sure about that one. Uh, that's quite a high price for that, and it's not a Black Friday deal. They did have, a while ago, they may have sold out, but they did have the Marvel vs. Capcom one, um, which I actually bought myself. Um, yeah, they must have... Oh, no, here it is. Yeah, temporarily out of stock. Dang. Because that was that was a deal. It was 450 quid for that. Um, That's probably why it sold out. Yeah, probably. It was actually a pretty good deal. I think 450 for a modern one is probably... Oh, look at that NBA Jam one. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if they've got the... Let me see if they've got the NBA Jam. Because they've, they've re-released NBA Jam uh, recently. Again, that's not a, none of these are on a deal, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. Should we have a look in the US and see if the US versions are doing um, doing any deals? Yeah. Um, Reminder that uh, Amazon workers are striking. Yes. If you have other options, do you consider them? Yeah, definitely. And uh, if you do order things from Amazon, certainly in the UK, you may find that uh, they take a, bit, a little bit longer to um, arrive. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, one up. Uh, limited time deal. The pinball, pinball? The pinballs are okay. Oh, the pong table's kind of fun. Oh, that's fun. Well, that would look good in, in your den. Like, it's got a really nice sort of 70s style, hasn't it? And it's 59% yeah. off. I would, if, I, if I were in the US, I would 100% pay 284 for it. Because yeah. it's, it's got the little spinners and stuff. Look, the spinners and the yeah. buttons. If you had a conversation pit in your 70s house, yeah, you could put exactly, it in there. Exactly, yeah. Why do they not do conversation pits anymore? Uh, I think that's the choice one. I think that's the one I would pick up if I was... Yeah, the rest of them... Uh... Yeah, I don't think there's any other deals. Yeah, that's my pick. All right, my my RK one up sicko um, cab RK cabinet choice is that pong one. That looks that's a pretty good deal to be honest. Take it two hundred. All right, fine. Um, yeah, fine. Okay, thank you for indulging me on that one. Um, how are the chat doing? Has anyone bagged a, any sort of super choice? Yeah, deal? let us know if you've got a good deal on anything this Black Friday. Um, um, hashtag justice for Corazon says EA one two two. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not quite done with my arcade one-up sicko thing. I've just got to check Walmart because they sometimes have them. Oh, hello. Oh, that's pretty good. Now that's that doesn't come with a that's a teeny weeny one that doesn't come with a riser. Four hundred bucks is that? Oh, Miss Pac-Man is really good. You save a hundred dollars. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I would. I really like. I prefer as Pac-Man to original Pac-Man, and this is their new design, right? This is their new um, riserless design. So the previous ones had like a separate piece, um, but now it's all yeah, riser. Yeah, it's all similar. It, seamless now, and they've got these coin doors and stuff. And this is an actual. So this is what's referred to as the class of 80, 1981 cabinet, and this is a real like you can see these real arcade cabinets. When we were Andy, when we were in Boston recently, they had one mm -hmm. of these in that arcade that we went to. In, in Boston, it's uh, yeah, it was an original arcade cabinet. It looked like this. It had the the split design where like uh, Gallagher's on one side and Miss Pac-Man's on the other, um, and it's got a, you know they they've got a you know 12, 12 games, pretty good. If you like your classic arcade games, I would say. Oh, that. Mappy, forget about it. Yeah, yeah, and Rally X, which is that sort of flag collecting. Yeah, it's it's mad. but it, Gallagher and Galaxian are great. Miss Pac-Man's brilliant. Um, the rest yeah mappy and things like that probably pretty good all right so that and the pong table okay it's fine it's fine i'm i'm i've got it out of my system now i think that's a pretty good pretty good deal okay um we were looking at we were looking at some um game just us game deals right um just in case yeah. there's anything also charlie briggs in the chat asks racing wheel recommendations mike oh hello yeah that's a good um that's a good point i know fanatec are doing a bunch of um deals on their website so i'll go and i'll head over there in a moment um let's just have a another quick look at um amazon's gaming 
If you look at deals in PC, PC is not my not my sort of um, area of expertise. But um, let's have a quick look anyway. Uh, Lego though, what, what can we get off Lego? Go on then. Let's have a look. Everyone, 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 about everyone Lego. loves Lego. Uh, All right, this is baby Lego. Where's the good stuff? The White House. White House. A bit weird. Um, nothing's jumping out at me. Like, do they have the Sonic the Hedgehog Lego? Should we see if that's on any of, any of the uh, hmm. any of the US deals? Sonic the Hedgehog Lego. I don't think any of these are. It would say if they were Black Friday deals. I don't. They I, would, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. Do you remember the old do you remember Lego Dimensions? I do. Dang. Um, none of that's really on. On, let's have a look at today's deals and let's just see. I want to have a quick look at these gaming laptops. <laughs> wow. Alex Teichner says Fanatec has a virtual queue to get into their website at the moment, oh. at least in my corner of the world. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, we can try it. We Open it in, a t in another tab. Join the queue. All right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at Fanatec. I do I do rate their stuff. Um, it's, it's the stuff I use at home. 13 minutes. 13. Okay. Well, that's fine. Oh, wow. We'll, okay. we'll still be streaming. Um, Razer blade laptops i do have a razor blade laptop i will say this the screen on my razor blade laptop has the worst burning i've ever seen in my life like genuinely really? when you when you show put a blank screen on it you can still see the outline of the like start menu and all that kind of stuff and I, to be fair i run it like quite high brightness just because i like a bright crisp screen but i was quite disappointed i've had like 4k uh, screens before that have not suffered from burning that badly. So, got the old uh, Retina display on the MacBook Pro here. Yeah, I'm sure. It, I'm sure it's a better job, but I, I think burning's a real problem. Um, I don't know if that's one they fixed in these later. So, mine's a couple of previous generations. Um, so, with that in mind, with that caveat in mind, yeah, you could get a 3070 Ti is probably okay. Again, Digital Foundry probably knows this stuff better than me. Um, and I think yeah, with Ra maybe check out Digital Foundry with Razer. What you're, I think, what you're paying for particularly is like the build build quality in terms of the chassis like they are really nice bits of kit you know proper sort of uh, metal chassis very nicely designed very compact and things but um there's a premium it's a bit like buying a mac right like you pay a little bit more for that kind of extra those premium sort of materials but that's why i was so surprised given that i had paid a bit more for those premium materials that the screen was so prone to burning um mm. you may find that a, a brand like asus or acer you might get more bang for your buck in fact let's i mean that's a core i5 let's find something else with a 3070 in it um all these have got i mean if these are all like recent versions uh of a laptop like let's see what this this is a, a core i7 so that's 100 uh, 1800 bucks let's see what this acer predator has um it's not a 4K screen, but it has the RTX 4060 instead of the 3070, right? So you, you're talking about an, another uh, generation on in terms of graphics cards. Obviously, don't expect from mobile graphics cards, don't expect like the same performance as a desktop um, graphics card with the same sort of numbers, essentially. Um, yeah. But uh, let's have a look at this. So this, let's see what this Acer Nitro thing is, because that's, that's a decent savings, isn't it? Um, it's not bad, seven hundred bucks. Yeah, it's a thirty fifty, so it's laptop. not going to be like it's not going to be destroying everything. But but to be honest, no. But you f you just want something to play games on on the move. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, the screen it's one hundred forty four kilo, uh, one hundred forty four hertz. Sorry, which is useful. Um, it doesn't say what the resolution is. It may only be ten eighty p. Let's just double check that. Uh, Remember, yeah, all these links are on the. Uh, are on the blog, which is linked in the pinned comments. Yep. And also it's just that link that's on screen there, tinyurl.com forward slash Black Friday OX. If you want to check out any of these deals, go over there, click on the links. Yeah. Let's see. 165 hertz. What resolution is that? This might be a sweet spot one for around 1,000. 60 by 10. What resolution is it? Let's have a look. Um, What have we got specs wise? Come on. Come on. Digital That's Foundry says, I managed to grab a MacBook Pro 16 this year for £1,300. My greatest Black Friday triumph. Glad I was up early covering deals. Wow. Okay. Is that, was that from, yeah. where was that from, Black Friday? Share your, share your wisdom, share your knowledge. Um, because that is, you know, 1300 quid for a... Uh, for a MacBook Pro, MacBook is, amazing. Pro is amazing. But yeah, I think this Core, Core i7, so again, it's not, um, 
it's not a huge resolution screen. It's a um, basically just a above 1080p 60 by 10 screen. But what you've got is a, a graphics card, that, a mobile graphics card that should be able to push that number of pixels to quite a high number of frames per second. And when you've got a screen that um, allows you to run at what, 144 hertz or or above, then you know you're getting those kind of frame rates are are attainable with with the setup basically. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's uh, that might be a good might be a good sweet spot for around a, a K. Um, An ROG brand stuff tends to be pretty good. Um, I'd love to think about um, uh, Steam Deck competitors now as well, right? Yes, the Ally. Yeah, should we have a look at yeah. that? Um, let's have a look at let's have a look at some ROG Ally stuff. Uh, I might Google that just to see if there's anything coming up on Google Shopping. Digital Foundry says it was from Costco on Monday or Tuesday at 7 a.m. Probably all sold out by now, unfortunately. Let's very look. Happy with it. Let's look just in case. Um, and that would be probably Costco in the UK. Um, Costco, weirdly, sometimes have really, really deal good deals on, like, bizarre bits of electronics and stuff. Um, right. Uh, let's have a look at the ROG Ally handheld. So this is like a... Here we go. Oh, Curry's in the UK. Let's oh, that's a That's a good deal. Yeah, 599. So this is a... Um, it's more powerful than a Steam Deck, essentially. Uh, but it has tended to be more expensive as well. Um, but saving 100 quid on this. And this runs... You can run Windows on it. Um, it It's sort of a... It's a really powerful portable PC. And Andy, like, you don't have a, an ROG Ally, a ROG Ally, but you do have, have a, a Steam Deck. You do have a Steam Deck, mm -hmm. right? And how has that, like, transformed your sort of PC gaming? You... Oh, loads. I mean, I I barely played PC yeah. games before just because it was a hassle. Mm. But now I can do, yeah, playing PC games on the couch uh, or on the train. You know, it's great. Yeah. And I'm playing like a load of old games from um, like the early 2000s and stuff on there because, you know, everything's on Steam. Yeah, indeed. You can basically play everything. Now, obviously, it's a, this is a Windows machine, so it's a, it's a fully featured Windows PC. But obviously, you can run Steam on it as well. Um, and in big picture mode, it'll be sort of close-ish, I suppose, to the Steam Deck experience. But um, I think that's a really good price, actually. Um, yeah, well done, Curry's. That's a, certainly for a UK uh, user. I think that's a really, really decent price. Um, let's see. Let's have a look on. Like, I wonder whether Walmart does it um, in the US. Let's have a look. They may do. Thanks to all those uh, West Coast US folks who are waking up and joining us. Oh, early. nice! Yeah, yeah. Grab a grab a coffee. Yeah, get some deals. Um, um, all our deals have been um, have been uh, published on the link just across. Wait, there, 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 there. There's the link. Yeah. Um, Tinyurl.com slash Black Friday. Uh, here we go. Okay. Six hundred ninety-two dollars. Uh, is that a Black Friday deal? No, that just looks like a regular deal. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a specific Black Friday deal on the the ROG Ally, but um, yeah, it's a it's a cool bit of kit. It's a cool bit of kit. Um, well worth having a look at. Uh, right, well, we were going to have a quick look at Costco, weren't we? Should we have a look at Costco? It's probably in the UK. Uh, just to see if there's a any is it MacBook Pro? I'm just looking at the deals on our. Um on the Oxventure merch store, you can get the inspiration tokens for just six pounds each, saving fifty percent. Oh, yeah. The Deadlands T-shirt is on sale for only ten pounds. If you want great, to commemorate yeah. that's a great Oxventure Deadlands, which people enjoyed, he, check it out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Here's some pretty good deals, like a MacBook Air for twelve hundred. They're pretty good, aren't yeah. they? Uh, Sorry, one last thing. Our Moonbeam dice set, which is the last chance to buy that, is on sale now for fifteen pounds fifty, saving thirty five percent. Those Moonbeam dice are lovely. They are. So really if you want to nice. get, if you are in the market for some Oxventure dice, um, yeah, let's have a, check out the uh, have, the link there on the screen. Um, they're all linked from the blog. Let's have a quick look at those Moonbeam. I mean, that's a really good deal. Fifteen pounds fifty for a. They're really nice looking things. Look at the look yeah. at the sort of like the texture, and the little little stars, shooting stars, and things. Little OX logos as well. I was really proud of those when they when they came out. I thought they were yeah, really good. Lovely. Plus, there's loads of jokes on the box. I don't know if you keep boxes for collectibles. Yeah, we stuff. we wrote we wrote a bunch of jokes for the box. Bespoke jokes for the for the box. Um, did you get into Fanatec? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh yeah, we did. We did. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Uh, okay, fine. Um, 
show me your Black Friday deals. Yeah. So Fanatec have been doing stuff, Black Friday stuff, all week, essentially. Um, what's really good? What do I rate? The DD2 uh, is pretty good, but it's very... Oh, it's sold out as well. Uh, it's very expensive. Um, they've sold out... Have you considered holding a dinner plate while you <laughs> while play? Doing, the, doing that dinner. stuff. Um, CSL DD. This is pretty pretty good. The CSL DD is the wheel I'm using at the moment, and it's it's pretty great. And this is the... Is it? This is the Xbox. So this is the Xbox compatible. Um, Bloody hell! Steering wheel, yeah. So the sort of thing you'd use to f fly a jet airplane. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a bit like flying a jet airplane, driving a driving a Formula One car. Um, yeah, I I I really like the CSL DD. But what I would say is that the the thing about Fanatec stuff, which is really good if you can kind of wangle it, is that and this won't work with this bundle, but. There is a PlayStation compatible version of this base and an Xbox compatible version of the rim. And if you put them together, you will have a setup that will work on both PlayStation and Xbox, right? Which is pretty rare in terms of peripherals. They don't tend to do it. Um, but uh, but yeah, I can definitely recommend that that if you can work the setup up. Oh, I've got a... This is fun. So like this endurance button box thing, um, okay. you can combine it with an actual like real steering wheel. So right. like this is a Sparco steering wheel, but any any real like racing steering wheel will have these screw points, and they combine yeah. with this. So if you like, for example, I, one thing I thought about doing a while ago was buying this and then buying like a Ginetta steering wheel to match my my Ginetta car, your race car, yeah, my race car. Yeah. So um, so yeah, I, the button this button module is really good. Um, it's got the shift lights, it's got the um all the sort of little uh, press buttons. It's got the rotary encoders. It's got sticks. It's got all that kind of stuff. I would definitely recommend, like, buy that and then buy a steering wheel from, you know, anywhere. Like, it doesn't need to be from the Fanatec store. Um, I would grab that. And if you have Fanatec kit, that's a really good, really good choice. But obviously, you need the, the full ecosystem, basically. You need, you'd need you need a base for it to work with. Uh, and I think of the bundles, I think the CSL DD Racing Wheel Formula... Uh, bundle is probably the best for um for xbox users certainly um digital foundry was, was asking about wheels saying i was considering the mclaren gt3 v2 if it's still around to upgrade my gt dd pro bundle yeah i uh i like the mclaren wheel i've actually got one it's right behind here and i can't grab it because it is behind me but what i would say about the mclaren wheel is it is it's really nice in the hands um i don't know if they've got it as a black friday deal hold on let me just bring it up so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, Lama Loop says, love watching Andy slowly die inside as Mike <laughs> talks about car stuff. Um, right, here it is. So it's not, on a, it's not on a deal at the moment, but I would say it's a, it's a good bit of kit. Um, it's, it's just, the problem with it is it's, it's made of plastic. And it's quite big. And I wouldn't say it flexes, but you can definitely feel in your hands that you're holding a plastic wheel. So while it's great for ergonomics, because it's the exact same size and proportions as a real GT3 racing wheel, it, it doesn't feel as robust as some of the other wheels that Fantec make. That's what I'll say on that subject, essentially. Um, yeah, uh, let's go back to, because Walmart's pretty reliable, right, in the States, because I want to make sure we get some US deals. Let's see what they're, what they're doing. Like, let's go for more generalized Black Friday deals now. Um, we've got about, I think we're going to hang around for about sort of 40 minutes, maybe. Let's see what their general video game deals are. I want to make sure if Americans are waking up, they're getting a, a look at the, let's shop all savings. All right, let's see what Walmart have got. Uh, they're bound to have stuff in stock. Um, AirPods, 80 quid That's off AirPods good. is pretty good. Do you use AirPods? Because you use Apple. Um, I don't know. I have, I have weird um, shaped ear canals. Right, so they'll just fall out. They'll just fall out. Yeah, I, that would be my panic um, all the time. Essentially, I'll... basically, I need head. I need headphones that I can like run in because I go running yeah, a lot. Yeah, I'll tell you what I so... what I really rate for running, and I don't know if they'll be on um, on a deal or not. But let's have a look. Why not? Uh, I apparently have... saying feels good in the hand is a tech journalist and faux pas. Mike says Galahad born Stella. Well, I'm not a tech journalist, so I can faux pas as much. You as can I say like. what you want. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I mean, this isn't a this isn't a Black Friday deal, but it is a. So I really Ideal. I really like these because they they do go in your ear and they have a multiple sort of um, earbuds, but then this just goes around your neck, right? And you can you've got a volume. So if they do fall out, volume rocker. But yeah, if they if they do fall out, they just land you know on your t-shirt essentially. So yeah, um, that's good. Not a not a Black Friday deal, but a recommendation at least for me as a thing that I use. Do you want a, an all-in-one air fryer, Andy? 
It's only fifty I've, fifty dollars. <laughs> that's actually a pretty. <laughs> that's actually a pretty good deal. I've never used an air fryer, and um, it's good. It's good for mozzarella. Yeah, I don't it's good for mozzarella really understand different. how they work, but everyone who has one won't shut up about yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So, um, okay. <laughs> This way for me. Carrie Denison says it's better than feels bad in the hand, yeah. which is true, <laughs> or feels bad in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> this electronic thing feels bad in the hand. It's slimy and hairy, <laughs> uh, and pimpled. Um, yeah, uh, this let's get those. Yeah, let's get those earbuds in the. Yeah, yeah. In the let's go. in the blog and the. Oh, you know what? I've um, my my dad was recommending bone induction headphones. Oh, that's me. weird. But I, am I yeah. really going to type the words bone induction into here? Yeah. So it vibrates your skull. No. Is it? I've got a is load it of in- bone induction or oh, here we go, is yeah. it called something else? Con- bone conduction. Bone conduction. Right. Right. Fine. Well, I mean, apparently that technology, that head vibrating technology is only $12. Uh, if you want wow, to, okay. I can't. I can't vouch for whoever makes this, and I don't know where, whether it will cause your head to explode, scanner style. But well, there you go. Um, People asking me about what I use. I use cans when I'm running. Interesting. Which... And they stay on your head, okay? Yeah, they stay on my head, fine. Ah, oh, here we go. Andy, do you have a, you have an Apple Watch, right? I do. I'm not wearing it currently, but I do have one. Uh, that's a, that's not a bad deal. 180. That's... You use it a lot, yeah. right? And this is the 2023 I... edition with GPS and a sports brand. Yeah. That's a really that is um, that's a great price. I use my Apple Watch all the time. Yeah, so, As I, I said mean, I, I go I go running a lot. This isn't so. an Apple Watch. This is a Pixel Watch. But I I use this all the time. And yeah, it's it, the heart rate monitoring, all the fitness stuff, all the reminders, all that kind of thing. Um, plus, if you're like hopelessly addicted to social media, it um, it gives you a chance to like swipe your notifications away um, if they're not important without having to get your phone out. So I think that's a really good deal. An Apple Watch SE 2023. Apple Kit is so expensive, and I think $180 down from 70 is a pretty good Black Friday deal. I would uh, I would recommend. There's that OLED deal that we were talking about earlier. All these links uh, that we've been talking about are on tinyurl.com slash Black Friday OX. If you want the link to that that um, OLED deal, uh, we may receive a small commission if you use our links. So we do appreciate it. If you'd, if you'd like to, you know, if you're already buying this stuff anyway and you would like to, to help us out, then do follow the link. Uh, let's have a look at the video games that are available um yeah here we go so those are all the console bundles um meta quest 2 again 250 dollars that's a really good uh that's a good deal so why is the psvr 2 like twice as expensive as that what's so much better about it um it's high resolution it's got that um eye eye tracking stuff um right. in terms of uh you know being able to track your eyes it's got I mean, the Meta Quest Two is is um, it's a good bit of kit. I would I would one hundred percent recommend it um, if you're if you're not in the market for Meta Quest Three, which is considerably more expensive. I mean, I'm assuming there is no uh, no deal on a Meta Quest Three, but I'll check. Uh, yeah, so like four hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay. It's it's twice as expensive, right? Um, is the Meta Quest Three twice as good? I don't know. It's got more processing power. Uh, and it's got a higher res screen and more of a field of view than the Meta Quest 2. But you can play most games, currently at least. There will be a period where game, new games come out and they aren't compatible with Meta Quest 2. But every new release I've seen in the last month, uh, including 7th Guest VR, Andy, and the new Assassin's Creed VR game, which looks really, really good. Um, those are both... Com- I can't imagine many games I'd want to be inside less than 7th Guest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, particularly the bedroom bit, right? Uh, oh, <laughs> um, but... Uh, but the new Assassin's Creed VR game, it's the most exciting VR game out this month, is still compatible with MetaQuest 2. Obviously, it won't look quite as pretty, but it's that's a, I think that's a really good deal. I would, as a way to get into VR, and it, it's the great thing about the MetaQuest is it's all self-contained, right? So if you're not charging it, you can just you can have it on your head. You don't need to connect to anything else. It does a really good job of like you know you can draw a, a play area in your living room and that's all you know you're totally free of wires you're not going to trip over anything mm-hmm. you don't get like the wire you know hitting your arm and stuff while you're trying to play um so that kind of freedom and that self-containedness is great it's a little heavier than your average pc headset but i i can totally recommend the meta quest 2 i really like it um and there's a bunch of stuff from meanings by the star wars stuff is really really good vader immortal is really really good and the yeah. uh, there's the you know there's the galaxy's edge thing, Andy. That, oh yeah, you can wander around, you can wander Black, around Spire Black Spire Outpost, which is the basis of the theme park 
Galaxy's Edge, which is really cool. Hello. Now, <laughs> all right. I mean, we were talking about Switch deals, but I love this, uh-huh. right? Like, a, Timmy, Timmy and, Tommy. and Tommy's Aloha, Aloha edition. edition. Now, come on. Look at it. Look at the back of it, right? Look at the back of the Aloha edition. Look at all the leaves. Oh, look at the leaves. And this is, like, unequivocally the best color to have a Switch light in this sort of, like, slightly turquoisey oh my god jane would love this yeah and you get animal crossing new horizons as a as a free full game download as well so if you're you know if you like your switch and you um and you haven't tried to switch light switch light's really good we've got one in the house and it's um it's it's great it's a really good bit of kit um so yeah that's um i think that's good let's go back sorry stefan maxwell says um amazon has series s and game pass for 189 pounds um, and don't forget sites like Smith's and Humble Bundle HMV had Cyberpunk 2077 for 9.99. That's, I mean, that's pretty good. Um, let's yeah. have a yeah. Let's have a look at Smith's toys um, at some point soon. I just want to make sure our US pals. Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Oh, this is pretty good. Hey, like, uh, forty five dollars for a, uh, this sort of camo wireless controller. Wireless controllers are so expensive most of the time. Yeah, right. Like, I always, you know, when I need a new controller, I look at the prices and it just makes me want to cry. So that's like £35 in yeah. UK money. Yeah, exactly. And that's... that's a, yeah, that is a good I deal. actually quite like that. This sort of, like, frog camo sort of design. And that's the... This is the newest version of the uh, controller with the share button and obviously mm-hmm. the, the lower latency if you've got a Series X. So uh, I would say that's a mineral camo. That's tasteful as they go and affordable yeah i like it i like it as a deal that's pretty good wait wait, wait. i saw super mario odyssey there um oh and they've got the same deal for a, a red one if you if red is your color red's pretty good um oh tears of the kingdom andy now this is a this is a, a good point which is that nintendo games never nintendo get games are ever. never discounted very rarely yeah. discounted so if you're waiting for a better deal on Tears of the Kingdom, it's probably not going to arrive until like maybe, well, even years, years afterwards. Like, yeah, you're not going to get. I mean, Breath of the Wild probably still costs seventy dollars. Yeah, I'd have thought so. Yeah, so you know, it doesn't feel like a big saving. It's eleven bucks, but um, but yeah, as you say, Nintendo games never ever get discounted. So um, there's that beautiful. I, I'm really. This is <laughs> this is a real. That's nice. Yeah. It's yeah. Real, uh, choice thing it keeps taking christopher wall would like to shout out um uh drive through rpg um oh cool where luke's gravity rip rpg is on sale for Black oh Black. really well let's have a look so at that check it out yeah let's have a look at uh let's type in gravity rip drive through rpg there you go here we go there you go there you go down to 25 bucks pretty good we played it on the um on yeah. on outside extra and it was really fun uh it was all my wipe out and f-zero like fantasies <laughs> in one um so yeah uh do check it out uh, luke put an enormous amount of work into it it's it's well worth uh well worth checking out um cool uh where were we let's go back to black friday it keeps scrolling me right up to the top of its deals oh, again yeah another another camo choice in terms of the uh yeah if you follow that link to the mineral camo one in the blog like do you click around and see if uh, see if the if there are other colours you prefer. But they seem like a lot of deals on these wireless controllers. Bright pink one there, Kirby pink, uh, a sort of gold colour. Fair enough. That's quite a nice texture as well. I like the gray. Yeah, the black gold gradient is very cool. Yeah, it's neat. Kind of Deus Ex, Human Revolution vibe. Yep. Uh, what else have we got? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna search for. Uh, $15 for Red Dead Redemption 2. That's pretty good. Andy's Andy's choice. 50. Game of the generation. It's a PS4 version though, right? And that's oh. not yeah, necessarily that. not necessarily backwards compatible on a on a um no. PlayStation. Oh, 20 bucks for Miles Morales though. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. But then cuz the new one just came out, you want to play Spider-Man 2. Yeah. I, yeah, it's true, but if you if you didn't See, this is the thing. If you want the version that has if you want the version that has the original Spider-Man, it's a lot more. It's like twenty twenty dollars more expensive, which is a bit of a shame. Well, Luigi's Mansion Three digital version is thirty three percent off at Nintendo, says PC Tech Seven Fourteen. Ah, oh, cool. Okay. Uh, Tell me about this. I love Luigi's Mansion Three. Oh man, look again. This is this is sold out. Look, out of stock. Super Mario Odyssey. I did see it flash up briefly. Um, 
and uh, you know clearly because it because these games are never yeah. ever discounted. Thirty bucks for the Breath of the Wild for thirty dollars. Yeah, but again, out of stock. So the oh. you know this is the thing. Um, oh, Resident Evil Four out of stock. Yeah, yeah. MK MK One for out of stock. Forty bucks out of stock as well. Yeah, I think we we're, we're rolling into the out of stock things now. So we've scrolled too far, and we're out. We're into the out of stock stuff. But um, Sonic Superstars forty bucks. That's sort of reasonable saving, I suppose. Um, you could maybe, uh, if you're sa- so here's a, here's the thing: if you're buying stuff from the eShop, get a fifty buck eShop gift card, and then go and shop the for $45. deal. Forty five dollars, yeah, forty five dollars, and then go and shop the deal on the eShop. So um, let's have a quick look at the eShop. So I would recommend, yeah. I mean, five bucks off on the, an eShop purchase is again because you can use it on one of those never discounted um, Nintendo games. Stop zooming in on Link's chin. Mm, mm, mm. Stop zooming in on his <laughs> full lips. Uh, let's have a look at the Nintendo eShop. Uh... Luigi's Mansion Three is so good. Yeah, let's see. I if, might replay it. Let's see if we can go to the Nintendo eShop for the Americas. Uh, let's go Nintendo.com. Is it gonna is it gonna get angry with me? Uh, here we go. Black Friday deals now live in the US. Yeah, start saving. Yeah. Uh, there's that uh, OLED bundle bundle available at participating retailers. A lot of retailers have that OLED bundle. The link is on our our list of um uh, our list of deals, which is available at that link tinyurlcom slash Black Friday OX. Um, how do I get to the eShop from? from here uh my nintendo store is that what it is my nintendo store there was a i mean oh, there's a thing you can click on uh on the left uh, uh, uh. nintendo sales and deals yeah that's what you get sales and deals mm. cyber mm-hmm. deals mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh there's mario odyssey but it's it's ten dollars more it's... than it was for um yeah and it's digital right yeah uh, maybe it's digital. Let's have a look. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, oh, you can get it physical as well. So yeah, uh, if you pick up that, um, you know, if you were to pick up that five dollars off gift card at Walmart, then you could use it to to buy Mario Odyssey and and make a savings and maybe purchase something else. Um, was it? Uh, someone was saying Tears of the Kingdom is on um, on discount as well. Oh, we have... Really? Or was it? Seems was unlikely, it Breath of the Wild? Sorry. Not. There you go, thirty-three percent off. Luigi's Mansion Three. There you go. Forty forty bucks down from sixty. See, so, yeah, I would recommend, yeah, picking up the the gift card that was on Walmart for fifty <laughs> for five dollars off, and then using it on here to buy something buy something good. Dark Souls Remastered twenty twenty dollars. That's pretty good. Link's Awakenings discounted. Let's forty two dollars for Link's Awakening still seems yeah it's steep. a lot. Let's uh let's have a look for Tears of the Kingdom just to see what it's currently. What is currently reselling for? Oh, it's still expensive, isn't it? Still, if you want a physical edition, the collector's edition, it's 130 pounds. Hey. You should see if Breath of the Wild has been discounted. Uh, if you're just joining us, yeah, that's not been discounted either. If you are just joining us, um, do you check out the the link uh, of um, the link you know on the screen at the moment, tinyurlcom slash Black Friday. OX because there's a bunch of deals that you may have missed during the live stream but we found some pretty good stuff uh, I think highlights are that that 20 um, pounds off UK uh, PS5 orders at Curry's that's that's pretty choice um, I think that uh, very.co.uk uh, switch bundle that included Mario Wonder uh, is, a, is a really good one as well um, definitely yeah. worth a look at that um, Jason N is asking any deals on outside Xbox's GOTY Gotham Knights there are loads we were talking yes, about it earlier we were. in the stream head over to um, certainly in the UK you can get that game extremely cheaply um, uh, I think it was at but Amazon um, those links will be on the on the blog it's all in the yeah all on the website all on the blog should we switch back to um, some UK stuff uh, I was thinking maybe we could have a look at Smith's someone mentioned Smith's and they tend to do yeah. a bunch of uh, although they're a toy store they tend to do a bunch of um, ooh Smith's that's weird maybe it's smiths.com smiths.co.uk is apparently uh, for sale <laughs> if you're in the market for a a URL this Black Friday uh, oh in store only uh, excludes click and collect. Well, that's no good. But um, 
Okay, pretty standard, pretty standard bundles, I think, for that stuff. There's the OLED bundle that we've seen before. 190 quid for a Series S. Ooh, the, Le the home, Lego Home, the home alone. alone Lego. Yes, please. Uh, yeah. They're such good Christmas projects, those big. Yeah, they are. And Lego kits. And none more so than the Home Alone thing. Spider Man Daily Bugle set. That's so expensive, though, isn't it? Uh, um, if you're really. If you want an all in one, like, starter racing wheel, I think a Logitech G29 is not. You could go. You could do a lot worse than that. Uh, it's got a lot of buttons, but it's it's very much um, oh it's out of out of stock for home delivery, but click and collect you could in theory get it. But um, this will you know if you if you've got a PlayStation, this is like a decent starting point. My very first uh, steering wheel was a Logitech one. Um, it's you know it's a it's a good place to start. Um, make sure you've got a desk to bolt it to though, or a or a simulator yeah. to bolt it to. Thirty quid for Carl's house from up Lego is, I reckon, pretty good. Yeah, that's a perfect Boxing Day. Oh, that's um, that's project. that is lovely, isn't it? That's really yeah. lovely. If you're a fan of that, I love all the balloons, look, and all the pastel yeah. colours and stuff. That's, that's not nearly enough balloons. That's to nice. that house, but that's fine. We'll and that's available for home delivery, so we'll stick that on the blog because that is a that's a really lovely um, yeah choice. We get those AirPods on the blog as well because they I was wanted to look at those. Yes, yeah, that was a Walmart. Um, mm. Oh look, there's the final battle from uh, Spider Man Three. That's fun. Oh, fun. But again, quite expensive. Uh, glow in the dark football, weird. Oh, um, nighttime football. Minecraft laptop, also weird. <laughs> I'm, I, sh I need to make some notes for my uh, nieces and nephews for Christmas. Oh, here's the Xbox version of that steering wheel, which is even cheaper. Oh, I don't think they'll be into that. That's. I don't think they're into racing uh, games. No, they. No, some people are, particularly if they picked up that EA WRC deal that we found earlier. Uh, the Xbox version is even cheaper. I definitely think for 180 quid, a full racing. This is all you need to... to with pedals and everything. Yeah, with pedals and everything. I think that's a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Am I... I'm just going to... I'm just going to look. Don't get angry with me. But... Uh, do they have... They have, like, retro gaming as a as a thing. I know it's my... It's my, it's my thing. Uh, none of this... None of this is on deal. Oh, that's pretty... That's pretty good. That's pretty good price. 300 for, from Mrs. Pac-Man. Mrs. Pac-Man with a wood effect. That's not too bad. Oh, 340 for... See, the problem with this one is the design is, is wild because it's got too big a marquee. Um, yeah. And, uh, but it, it's still pretty... It's not a bad price, 350 for... It, the, these um, ones have like online play as well, so you can play Street Fighter against people online, which is you know the original Street Fighter 2 and all that stuff. It's all sort of online... Or online um, enabled and actually if you pick this one up mm. Andy you'll appreciate this you can play Saturday Night Slam Masters online oh I do like Saturday Night Slam Masters yeah the, tell me more about these roller skates uh, these mini met Mia retro yeah. quad skates for three to five yeah. year olds yeah or, you know for the three to five year old in your life um, maybe maybe get one of those um, Andy eBay now you found a code for eBay right is that right uh, they emailed me a code let me have a look I think it was was it better better something deals for me deals for me Shlo buy better 20 buy better 20%, 20 off this black friday there's the there's the code yeah. let's find out let's see if they've got anything good in here oh here we go I think you could take 20 percent off oh it's a refurbished switch that's why it's a bit more expensive i wonder if we can look for only not refurbished stuff um very good, because this is the Leon thing. Kennedy's jacket there for women. <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, what have we got? Yeah, there's a few refurbished bits. I mean, that's cool. You know, if if that's your thing and you're really looking to uh, save a bit of money, um... you get the core collection of Five Nights at Freddy's games. The problem with Five Nights at Freddy's games is they're all about an hour long. Yes. So, so this is probably about four hours worth of entertainment right here. Yeah. Uh, Metal Gear, right? What a bizarre, what a bizarre thing to have. Huh. There. Eleven pounds, though. Amazing value, it says Andy. Amazing value. I mean, that is good value for a re Rising Revengeance. Was pretty good, I thought. And this is presumably you can add this better twenty. That's from Music Magpie. Again, it's a it's pre-owned, so. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, it's difficult. It's really difficult to 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 work out whether pre-owned stuff is a good deal or not because. 
uh, you know, they get checked places, at eBay, right? Yeah, go to places at like like CEX and stuff. Um, and they may found eBay is a really good place to buy sneakers. Yes, because they do they authenticate them. Yeah, I bought I bought some by a third party sneakers recently from eBay. Yeah. Um, yeah, all this stuff's refurbished, and that's fine. If you're if you're looking for a, a much cheaper version, then um, I look Jackbox Party Pack on PS4. Oh, yeah, nice. What a bizarre place to to. I can't believe they're charging twenty pounds for Family Guy, the video game. I mean, it's so bad. Apparently, it's on the 360. Really yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not seeing like loads of great deals here. Um, no, but twenty percent off. Yeah, consider it definitely. Um, yeah okay fine um what were we we were looking at um let's have a look at uh should we have a look at costco deals in the uk because we had a look for technology stuff didn't we but we didn't yes. actually necessarily hit um yeah here we go uh, we didn't necessarily hit gaming stuff right uh laptops macbooks some Lego stuff, toys and games. Might that be where they classify this stuff? Okay, some some Lego stuff. Some okay. Perseverance Rover. That's kind of fun. Ooh, <laughs> again, something that <laughs> something that I would probably do is that. That's not bad for that. Um, that well, you don't have to put that one in the blog, but I might be back here later on to to pick Fine. it up. Uh, I. Advent calendar. Lego advent calendars are usually quite expensive. Um, 15 quid for a Lego advent calendar is really that's good. That's pretty cheap. And it's got a kind of wintry, Christmassy theme. That's fun. Yeah, if you're if you're buying for a, you know, if you're buying an advent calendar for a kid. No, this isn't Lego though. Look at it. What do you mean? It's Lego Friends. Lego Friends is is some sort of Lego for babies. Look at it. No, but what? Well, Andy. They're not mini figs. It's got a snowboard and a dog and a rabbit. I know baby Lego when I see it. Yeah, well, if you're if you're looking for a baby for an advent calendar, I think fifteen quid's pretty good. All right. So <laughs> Digital Foundry is asking if there are any deals on Garfield Lasagna Party. All right, okay. that game will never be discounted because it's too good. All right, I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do a proper search uh, for Garfield Lasagna Party. Right here we go. What's the best deal? The Sale. Best deal. Whoa. Fanatical. Five ninety nine. Oh, here we go. Very. We like very. They've got some good deals on consoles at the moment. Oh, that's Garfield Kart Furious Racing though. Okay, well that's also not the same, not, is it? Also not a good, not a good game. Uh, price drop on game twenty five pounds. That's still too much for Garfield. Twenty five pounds. You can get it five pounds ninety nine on Fanatical. Three pounds and seven on Enabler dot com. Whatever that is. Mm. Should we have a look at Fanatical? I don't know any. Green Man Gaming has it. I don't know anything about Fanatical, but um, no. that that is cheap. Uh, if you're, if you're, <laughs> it's expensive for Garfield and anyway. Yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Green Man Gaming. That's £10. that's a digital code for the PC version. So um, okay, there you go. Garfield Lasagna Party. If Fanatical is a, I assume it's a trust. It's got a good rating on Trustpilot and a lot of reviews. So yeah, get it on your Rog Ally. <laughs> yes, it's twenty five quid on Steam. Unbelievable. So I think Amazing. Fanatical is, is again it's digital codes. So um yeah, your mileage, mileage may vary. If you want it on on an actual console, you're probably gonna be paying twenty pounds or so. Yeah. Which is too much. Let's be honest. Too much for Garfield Simply, Lasagna, simply watch our video uh titled Garfield WMV, uh and you'll probably get all the pleasure out of the game you would get anyway. Should we have a look at game? In the UK, because we, you know, it's a big game store, and we haven't actually looked at any of their Black Friday deals. So, if you're in the UK, again, we've got the sort of standard, you know, console deals that we're seeing just about everywhere. Um, PlayStation Black Friday deals. Let's have a look at that. Uh, um, Thirty quid for God of War Ragnarok. That's pretty good, right? That is pretty good. That's not a bad deal. I would, I would say. Um, That's the second one, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, the Jedi Survivor we found slightly cheaper, one pound cheaper elsewhere. Um, Grand Turismo Seven, thirty-five pounds. That's pretty good. They just updated Grand Turismo Seven. Actually, I know it's another car game, Andy. I'm sorry, but they did just I'm aware of that. they did just update uh, Grand Turismo Seven with what I think it's called like a Spec 2.0 edition. Um, and given that this 
game retailed at seventy pounds on PS5, saving of thirty five quid. It's probably the best racing game of this generation so far. Sorry, Forza Motorsport. It's you know, Forza Motorsport's great, but I think GT seven is is still the best racing game of this this generation. It's PSVR two compatible and apparently it's incredible on PSVR two. Uh, that is a good deal. I think if you're in the UK and you like racing games, that is a good deal. Uh, DreamWorks All Star Kart Racing, not interested. Sorry. Uh, Dead Highland with a Shark, fine. Um, Crew Motor Fest, it's good, but it's no Forza Horizon. Uh, Street Fighter Six, is that actually a Black Friday deal or not? I I I feel like Steel Books. Oh no. Oh Andy, Gotham Knights is on clearance. <laughs> Oh boy! I think That's... I think of the gaming deals we've seen so far. I think Gotham Knights is is probably <laughs> probably the best one there. It's getting an absolute kicking. Um, yeah, but uh, it's a good game. It's a good game. Mike's game of the year, twenty twenty two. Yeah, no one agrees with me. No one agrees with me. MK1 again for 30 quid. 31 pounds. 31 pounds. That's that's good. I'd recommend MK1. It's got a really fun story mode. Mm. Uh, oh, here we go, Andy. Resident Evil Four Remake Standard Edition PS Five. Twenty-seven pounds ninety-eight. Yeah, so it's cheaper new than it is pre-owned. pre-owned by one penny. That's got to go on the blog, surely. Uh, it was well, it was thirty-seven. Why is it discounted oh. so much? It's one of the best games of the year. Am I missing? Something? It's been it's been reawakened for twenty twenty-three. Weird, weird way to describe it. That's genuinely one of the best games this year, right? Yeah, twenty-seven ninety-eight. That's that's a good deal on the PS Five. Pretty good, pretty good. We're still playing it. We just finished the um oh look, the DLC. Amazing. So you know we were talking about Hitman World of Assassination on ah, PC. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On PS5 as well. It is uh only twenty three quid. That is the best of Hitman, Hitman Two, and Hitman Three, including main campaign. That is a lot of game for your money, re- and one of our favorites, like perennially one of our favorites. So yeah, uh, check it out. We'll have a look at the Xbox ones in a moment. Um, yeah, go to the link that's uh, pinned in chat. Yep. All of these links are there. You can check it out. And while we're at it, why not check out store.outsidexbox.com? We have a sale on. Yeah, we do. All our merch. And we've got, we're launching some new stuff today. We have a new pin set. We have a new T-shirt, the one I'm wearing right here that says what do on it. Yep. Uh, and you can get um, up to 50% off some stuff. Last chance to get hats and scarves. And we've got signed figurines. Yeah. Uh, stock is running low if you want to get the Oxventure fan in your life a Christmas present then check it out I realised you may have to click onto a second page to find the Corazon one I'm not sure why but that's just how it is I realised our chill music ended probably quite a while ago Um, okay we'll get the chill music back um, here's here's another deal that I think is pretty worth highlighting right Forspoken okay it got it didn't get great reviews it wasn't terribly well received but it is beautiful to look at and I feel like for 10 quid it's would be really difficult to go wrong. I think it's a bit like Immortals of Avium, which is another you know gaming deal that we've we've popped on the on the mm-hmm. blog. But I feel like for ten pounds, I think this might be a bit of a you might really click with it. And I think actually, you know, it's worth worth a look for that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's have a look at the exports deals. No, home, Xbox. In fact, Xbox. Let's have a look here. Uh, where are the deals? Where are the deals? Here we go. Xbox deals. Where are game deals? Where are game deals? Am I am I being blind? I can't. Uh, those upcoming games. Xbox Series X games. Let's have a look at this. Here we go. All right. Fine. All right. Fine. Um, Assassin's Creed Mirage only just came out, right? Yeah. That's to not to not much fanfare to be fair. That's fair, yeah. It sort of came and went without me noticing. I think it's supposed to be okay, right? Um, yeah. Thirty-two quid as a Black Friday deal, though. It's probably pretty, probably pretty decent. I would, um, I would. When did recommend it come out? Fifth of October. That's yeah. So that is nary a month old, really. Um, and that's. It's got four four out of five on Eurogamer from Christian Donlan. Well, there you go, and I trust Christian Donlan. Yeah, um, with your life. Yeah, with my life. Starfield Premium Upgrades. That's if you've got the Game Pass version and you want the upgrade. But obviously, if you stop buying Game Pass, 
you w then won't be able to play it with your premium upgrade or not. So that's probably not that much of a, a great deal. Uh, Transformers Earth Spark, not interested. 42 quid for Starfield. Again, it's available on Game Pass. So It's on Game Pass, yeah. yeah. See, yeah. Simply Dave MN says, not exactly on sale, but LRR just did their Desert Bus for Hope last week and merch purchases were still added to the total. Well over a million dollars to go to Child's Play. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, Desert Bus for Hope's a really good, uh, really good cause. Yep. Check it out if you get a chance. Uh, I'm not seeing loads of... I'm not seeing loads of great... Uh, oh, there's Gotham. Gotham Knights again. Clearance, £15. Yeah. Uh, I'm not seeing loads of brilliant deals uh, for, uh, for Xbox stuff on game. Um, yeah. Um, let's have a quick look on uh, to switch back to the US for a mo. Let's have a look okay. at uh, let's have a look at Newegg because that's a um, that's a, a site that does a bunch of whoa boom boom reach for the lasers ultimate sale ultimate sale. All right, All right. let's see what Newegg. Calm down, is. Newegg. Gaming, gaming. Let's go gaming. Uh, no, stay okay. at the United States. For our What's American wrong with friends? the old egg? That's all I want to know. Uh, Damn, that's a, that's cheap. Wow, look at this curved monitor. Lowest price. What <laughs> for a fifty dollar oh, gift card? No, but you can get a. There's a. There's a. Okay. It's a bit like Walmart. Fine. You can get fifty dollar. You can get five dollars off a fifty dollar um, gift Fine. card with a promo. But we already had that Walmart link. Uh, oh, hello. This is interesting. MetaQuest Two, two hundred fifty dollars, yeah. but with a free gift card with the purchase while supplies last oh, okay. um, so uh, i've said it before i think metaquest 2 is actually a really good deal at the moment because metaquest 3 is already out but with a 50 dollars gift card obviously you all the games for metaquest 2 are digital only you buy them via the the, the store and actually 50 bucks get you some pretty good stuff i think probably so um yeah i think that is a it's a good low price for it it's a good bit of kit and uh, um, with 50 bucks to spend on the on the store, I think that's pretty good. Uh, we're seeing those same uh, PlayStation 5 bundles. Those links are probably right at the bottom of our Black Friday deal um, live blog, tinyurl.com slash Black Friday OX. But those deals will be towards the bottom of that if you scroll down. Um, you know, that Tier Magnus says that they just grabbed Star Wars Survivor. Um, Jedi Survivor. Do let, yeah, do let us know if you got if you you're picking anything up. Yeah, yeah, do let us know. Um, so again, savings on a uh, for the US a, a DualSense wireless controller. They're so expensive controllers, uh, and I think Black Friday is a really good. You know, if you need an extra controller uh, for playing local, co uh, you know, multiplayer with your friends, mm -hmm. um, Black Friday is a really good time to pick those those up uh, because they are expensive the rest of the time. They're so expensive. Um, what else have we got? A lot of curved gaming monitors. Uh, I, I, oh, you got a curve. You got yeah. a curve. Um, I would definitely check out our friends at Digital Foundry. Will be will be obviously doing Black Friday stuff over at Eurogamer.net. Uh, so definitely check those out for for more sort of tech deals. Um, again, Series S for two hundred forty nine bucks. Pretty good. Um, this appears to have uh, uh, some sort of deal paying with Zip. I don't know enough about Zip as to, to whether to recommend it. Um, oh, here we go. Twelve dollars off a hundred dollar gift card. That's not bad. Yeah, uh, th obviously there's loads of digital deals over on um, over on the Xbox Store, uh, including I believe Ellen was saying Dishonored Two for like four pounds or something in the UK. Man, that's so, such a good so, Dishonored Two is great. Yeah, so, if you've not played it. So I mean, twelve dollars off a hundred dollar gift card. I think that's a pretty good deal actually. It emails it to you, and then you can shop. You know, you get the saving once here in terms of the gift card, and then you get the savings again. When you when you purchase on on the store, so because there's a bunch of Black Friday sale stuff uh, on the Xbox Store as well, so I think that's a that would be my my sort of um, tip, I suppose, for black for maximising Black Friday discounts is to is to you know take advantage of the, those discounts on the um, gift card, and that that code will get emailed to you straight away. So um, so yeah, you um you you can you can use it today and use you know take advantage of those deals. Um, Oh, here we go. MetaQuest 3. Interesting. Okay, very much more expensive than MetaQuest 2. Uh, I've no idea whether Asgard's Wrath is a good game or not, but if you if you really can't bear to have the previous generation of uh, Quest headset, then uh, then that's there. There's another G9 um, 
Odyssey, this is the same, I think the same one that we were talking about in uh, the UK. Great to see there's yeah. a US deal as well. Save um, $600. 900 bucks for this. I mean, like, the UK deal seemed pretty good, but I think saving 600 bucks on a, an Odyssey G9 series wraparound uh, monitor, I think, is is pretty good. Um, you know, G-Sync compatible, so even if you're running sort of... Uh, even if your frame rate is varying, it, it kind of smooths things out as much as possible. Um, just make sure you've got enough room on your desk for it. I don't want... I don't want to get photos from people who are like i bought this monitor because you said it was good <laughs> and now it doesn't fit on my desk or anywhere in my house so please yeah just check the dimensions and stuff but i think uh, you know lowest price in 30 days obviously 600 bucks off 900 dollars. man i wish sometimes i wish i lived in the u.s uh because the prices are are wild considerably better yes, yeah considerably better so um yeah oh, we've only got sort of five minutes to go yeah it's time to sort of start wrapping up yeah. if there's anything else you want to check up um, check out did we did we like one last thing? Did we have a look at Amazon.com gaming de like video game specific deals? We looked at consoles, mm. I think. Um, again, just to mention that um, certainly in U the UK and Europe, Amazon uh, workers are striking on Black Friday. Um, so you know, and, and f for fairer uh, working conditions, which we totally understand, uh, it might mean that some of your Amazon purchases may be delayed, and we thought we'd mention that. And also, obviously, if you have a choice to, to buy elsewhere, uh, do consider the fact that uh, Amazon workers are striking at the moment and may need your support. Um, so, uh, in terms of... I, I want actual... Your actual video games, please. Please, Amazon. Sonic Superstars Black Friday deal. Let's have a look at that. 39 bucks that's pretty good Sonic Superstars is a good game I, you know, is it? yeah it's decent it's, a, is it? it's retro I think what's really cool about it is it's 4 player co-op so, um, but this is the PS4 version again I don't know if that's backwards compatible probably um, not right let's see what the PS5 version's at I bet it's hey, oh, actually, yeah but only cheaper. one left in stock fine uh, back to results uh, just show me show me video games why not you know, tick the thing on the left yeah okay I mean I've got computers and accessories, software and video games. Let's get rid of software and let's get rid of computer and accessories and see if that yeah, it hasn't helped much at all. Oh, Andy. Oh, oh, it's happened. Black Friday deals. Oh, yeah, that was the Pong one. We've already talked about that. We've already done We've already talked about we've it. Already done my You're obsessed, man. Company. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, we've already talked about Elgato Gaming Gear. It's pretty good. I'm not seeing loads of... Uh, like there's a lot of individual sort of Black Friday deals, but nothing. Oh, we like Ninja Turtles. Shredder's Revenge. Revenge was good. That's a great game. Yeah, twenty four dollars for that. I, it's it's seems, that seems fair. I I would get it on the Switch. In fact, I bought it on the Switch. That would be my tip. Is that it's fun on an Xbox, but as a portable game where you're like wandering around playing it on your Switch, I can wholeheartedly recommend it on there. Yeah. So that's my choice. Uh, of platform for that. Um, anything else? Hot Wheels Unleashed. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's have a look at that. What price is that? Oh no, I've opened the image. Oh, what, what an <laughs> idiot. Uh, open link new tab. My tabs are a disaster now. Uh, I hope you appreciate yeah. this. It's going to burn the Thirty-four ninety-nine dollars. Pretty good. I, what I would say about this game is it, it's fun. But it looks like a game for kids. But it's actually really difficult. Like I speak as someone who plays a lot of racing games. It's actually like difficulty-wise a lot harder than than most racing games. So um, right. do bear that in mind if you're considering buying it for and child. Um, Very nice. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it, to be honest. Like I think we found yeah. some good deals. I think just to reiterate, um, if you head over to the uh, Black Friday deal links, there's a, a, a sort of updated live blog there. If you head down to the bottom, we found some really good console deals in the UK and the US. Um, so can totally recommend those. Um, what was your what was your sort of pick, Andy? Is there anything that that's already stood out to you? Um, I, I I might look at those headphones, uh, those Beats X. Oh yes, um, yeah, 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 earphones that you were recommending. Mm, they're pretty good. Um, and that Apple Watch was a really oh, good deal. Oh, that Apple Watch deal, well. deal, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. scroll down and, and see if you can find that. That Apple Watch deal was was really excellent for uh, users in the US. Um, I I think if I didn't have a switch, I think and and living in the UK, I think that very .co.uk deal with Mario Wonder, which is the most recent Mario game, and as we've said, mm -hmm. you don't often get discounts on Nintendo stuff and Nintendo games. To have a discount on the most recent um, Nintendo game, most recent Mario game, 
is yeah. is pretty good. Um, I'm gonna have a look at the uh, the stream decks as well because that would be useful. Oh uh, yes, the for me stuff. in my daily life. As always, um, folks, there is a summary post uh, of everything we've talked about today at the link that's pinned in the chat. Yes, um, up at the top there. And um, let's end on tinyurl.com forward slash Black Friday OS. Yeah, and if you'll indulge us, let's uh, let's just mention one more time. Uh, we have Black Friday deals on the on the outsidexbox.com store. So if you haven't seen anything in this um, stream that you know really piqued your interest, but you are a fan of Oxventure or Outside Xbox, and he's modelling the T-shirt expertly, um, we've got a bunch of deals, including I think it's worth mentioning again. We found these two items: the scarf, warehouse and the find. Hat. Just in time for the the temperature dropping. Um, yeah, if you'd like the bobble hat, I really like the bobble hat. Cozy scarf. These are discounted prices. We they are very limited. You know, once they're gone, they are yep. gone forever. Um, if you loved these these designs uh, and didn't pick them up before, do grab those. Last chance to get. Uh, meanwhile, but also brand new. Brand new. Uh, the What Do T-shirt, as expertly modelled by Ellen here, and our new pin badges, which again I really love the colours on these. Like look at the, mm -hmm. the sort of yeah like almost neon uh prudence there um so yeah do head over to sort outside xbox.com check those out if you if you don't mind see what you think signed figurines as well perfect xmas gift yes, for the Oxventure indeed. fan in your life yes uh remember you'll just have to click view collection if you want to get Corazon. the best one i.e corazon <laughs> he's yes. hiding there uh yeah a few signed yeah. ones left they are running low i think we're into like single into digit Signed we're into point. single digits for the uh, for the signed, for the signed ones. So, so if you want them, yeah. make sure you pick them up ASAP. All right, folks, thanks for joining us. This is a bit of a, a bit of an experiment. Uh, just wanted to to sort of do a bit of uh, uh, shopping here on Black Friday. Try and find some yeah, good deals. Thanks for hanging out with us yeah. this Black Friday morning. Uh, obviously, head to the link that is pinned as a comment or on the screen or in the description. Um, just to, to reiterate, um, we may receive a commission, not necessarily on all these links, but uh, some of them, uh, we may receive a commission if you do purchase through those. Uh, it's a, you know, if you're going to buy this stuff anyway, please do use our link because, you know, it helps us out as well. So um, thank you so much. Hope you've had fun. Um, I've enjoyed it. I think the time's gone really quickly. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Cool. Thanks for watching, folks. See you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.